This is Battlefield 5. We're on Series X doing a live stream. Be sure to like the video. Questions and stuff are great. And I'm joined by... Kevin, Kane2222. Yeah. Let's go yeah. <laughs> shoot some stuff the in the battlefield. Are you in the match? I don't see you on my team. Uh, still one in queue. Oh, you're still... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Usually people rage out pretty quickly, though. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wait, is this the game where I don't have a revive option? Oh yeah, because you actually get to like pick people up, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. I will revive all of you fallen soldiers. There's a lot of dead people here. <laughs> Jesus. Just picked up like five people in a row. I'm literally like the team savior. I'm the heroic medic that saves the day. And yes, guys, we will be doing a chivalry stream in the near future. I've heard people loud and clear. We'll, we'll do another one soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Blackout better than Battlefield and Warzone. See, I didn't really like Blackout that much. It was okay, but people really seem to love that one. We Which usually one stream Blackout. Huh? Uh, Black Ops Four. Oh, okay. We usually stream at this hour. Uh, not. Well, I mean, sometimes. Usually, I'm still streaming at this hour. We do an earlier night stream. Uh, it depends on what I'm doing. You know? Just, just what it is time-wise. Sometimes you stream late and early. Sometimes you do PUBG and then you hit Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chivalry 2 is hilarious. And Masters, once again, excellent use of the, uh, the emotes with the goose and the egg and stuff. It's, it's very funny. I find that quite humorous. If you guys didn't know, we literally have a guy that's on the, the Discord, and he's shown us like pictures of a, a duckling growing up from like, a little duck, and then I think it was like an egg at the beginning. It's a little and I become a little big, bit of a bigger duck, and then I assume eventually a little cool duck. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. But here on the lovely battlefield, fun. Tell us the history of this map. Um, it was a cool night in October 1944. Oh. <laughs> this must be our lore guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this map's actually kind of funny. Um, it started off with British versus German, but towards like the end when they did the last update, they switched it to German American. Probably to try to get more Americans interested in it. Yeah, I wondered if that what that that was. I don't know if this one was a huge sales. Oh, I always thought it was funny. Like I, I heard right off the bat, it made like seven million sold copies, which mm -hmm. I always thought was a lot. But then when you think like, I think Battlefield Four did like thirteen or something like that. So it was like a five million difference. That's a I don't big know change. if those numbers are correct, but yeah. The map, the map of Battlefield is huge. Yes, it is. And the new maps are supposed to be like what five times bigger than this, apparently. That's gonna be nuts. Except if you're on last gen consoles. Glory, Kevin. <laughs> no, I, I'm really hoping to upgrade before then. It's what October, something yeah. like that. Early October. Might just get a Series S just to play it. Cold. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> You still not in the match? Easy, yeah, it's weird. I'm, I'm a little Go surprised. Bully by someone it. on our team. No, I'm just playing. Kimi, Kimi posted on this. Like, I'm not shocked you're not in here yet. I'm bleeding out, guys. I need a hand. I need a hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. I gotta watch on Reddit. Somebody did like the Darth Vader hallway scene from Rogue One. Oh yeah. They, they put the I need a hero behind it. Gotta watch that later tonight. Oh god damn it, 96% enemy hit? Come on, man, that sucks. Get that going there. This is our last offense. I don't think you wanna join in here anyway, as we're getting humbled. I think. To be honest, I can't. It looks like we're our back is against the field.
Yeah, it must have been intense in these wars, just kind of like fighting it with like when in your homeland and seeing your homeland just get like smashed. <laughs> yeah, it must have been a little traumatizing, right? That'd make you fight extra hard, right? Usually in war, you're like kind of fighting in other places. So. Here you'd like really be fighting across the countryside or something that you know. Three different Series X's. <laughs> They're just hiding. <laughs> well, I, I believe a lot of the Series X's, from what I've heard, a lot of the chips are going towards the cloud gaming because they're going to be switching the Xbox cloud gaming to Series X blades, or they're already doing so. So a lot of the chips are apparently going to make sure that the cloud gaming has that next-gen level to it, which is important. It, it honestly is very important for them to do that, but it also takes away from how many Series X's they can pop out, right? Down we go. It's gone. I don't know if you guys have done cloud gaming right now, but it's super slow compared to playing on Series X, and it's just like, you know, loading wise because it's using Xbox One blades. Or, well, Xbox One S blade. I gotta say, this chair is awesome. Oh, that's a, a functional tank! <laughs> I thought it was a non functional tank on the bridge. Jeez. Oh, oh look, Hibachi joined in. Are you having issues, Kevin? Because like somebody else from the stream jumped in here. I'm not seeing you. Oh anymore. really? No, I'm just loading it now. Okay. Because I thought There's that was a funny. Text speech. It's a grand operation we're in. That's pretty neat. It said breakthrough when I searched, so I hope this is correct. I believe. I love grand operations. I just can't find a lobby for the life of me. <laughs> oh. Oh, we found one. Full players. Series X always costs a thousand and it's always out of stock. Well, that sucks. Hopefully it gets alleviated in the future for you. That's also cool. It's the first time Xbox consoles are doing okay in Japan. Which is interesting. I think they've already outsold the lifespan of how many Xbox One sales they had console-wise in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this is, this is a pretty big deal. Although that is a very hard market to get into for a foreign company. They've tried. Multiple times. Multiple, multiple times. But the 360, they really tried. Just couldn't do it. Oh look, Kevin's in the match, guys! He's oh no boy, here we go! Floating head voice. <laughs> you feel part of the field of battle. Oh, look at this guy is making jokes. What's up? We're just doing Battlefield 5. Ugh. Oh, come on! <laughs> you get revived and a tank takes me down? Ooh, it's a Taiga. I go one. Thousand for Series X when Walmart's gonna have a lot of them in a year or two. Hey, if you want something right away, you know, sometimes you gotta pay extra. Like the PS5 I got. Hmm? I had to pay extra for it, but I think long term, at least for me, I'm gonna get my value out of it. Enjoy smoke, guys. I'm saving lives. One revive at a time. Oof, smoke. Metro Exodus optimized on Series X, guys. Again, enhancements are for Xbox One X, but optimizations are for Series X, Series S. And I will be doing a video for it in the... Stay tuned for Exodus, yeah. But it looks pretty good, like I've seen some previous stuff for it, so I did not like Kevin. Oh, bats. Spawn on B, then. Take back C, or are we barely holding on to B here? We're barely holding on to B. Not looking good for the good guys. Are we the good guys? Ah, from a certain point of view. From a certain point of view. Who are we? Are we? We're not the British. British. We're the British. Yeah, we're the good guys. Yeah, yeah, totally. From our perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Worth it though. Still trying to get a PS5. Yeah, I could look for that one. PS5 was expensive. Like, I, I paid, like, I think. Which was, isn't too bad if you think about it, but 
I do kind of wish I would have gotten her for doing more. It was on PS5. I think that would have been beneficial. Yeah. Whoa, big explosion. <laughs> How great this game looks. And it's probably not even going to look that good in a few years compared to other stuff, which is even crazier. Well, it just keeps getting better and better, right? Yep. Which is always why, when I think it's funny where people are like, oh, it can't get better than this, and I'm just like, yeah, it always does. <laughs> you know, it, like, it literally, it, like, it always looks better. You're always like, ah, oh, we can't improve much more than this. And then new one comes out, and you're like, oh, damn. Yeah, did EA ever mention the engine for Battlefield? Uh, I would assume it's Frostbite. I believe it's a new version of Frostbite. A 4? A Frostbite 4 is something I'm guessing? I don't think they've, like, confirmed specifically, but it's definitely a Frostbite engine. That's what they use. Look at this. Not only am I going to kill that guy, they killed... Oh, never mind. I failed. <laughs> Cancel that. Started bragging too soon. Scratch it. Yeah, I got too, too overzealous. Oh, the, I, I didn't see a comparison video for Exodus compared to PS5 yet, but... Very, very eager to do, uh, to do a talk on a Trexus there. Oh, damn. Jesus! Sector artillery. Ugh. Do we have any uh, class stuff built up? Ooh, Habashi's got me with the revive. Always coming through for the help. Oh, jeez, tank. Enemy. Yep, I'm dead again. Go. Ugh. Ooh, 10,400 points. I don't think that gives us much, though, does it? No, but it's not bad for just being in here. Like, towards the end of the match. 50,750. Actually, wait, that's, that's a pretty good amount of points. You know, we actually really get something good here. Push him. Like, we're holding on to B, barely. We need to take out that tank up. Maybe we can reclaim C, maybe? I'm kind of flanking underneath the bridge to see if I can go, like, see back. I got, like, half their team sitting at C right now. Yep. Build some guys. Nobody expects Sky Captain to fall. <laughs> Let me just tearing it up. I've got you, Kevin. Oh, my hero. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Call me sometimes. This guy. And sometimes <laughs> Sky. Sometimes Zen. Rarely ever by my actual name. <laughs> <laughs> but they say all kinds of stuff. I should probably get, like, a medal for bravery there. I killed quite a lot of people. Your Series X yeah, is pretty I all the way up. I don't. My Series X doesn't fly. Alright, what were you saying, Kevin? I was saying that was a really good flank. Yeah, I can kill like quite a few people. Yeah, I mean, it might make some sounds depending on what you're playing, but it shouldn't be like whining too much. Like, I don't think I've ever heard my Series X ever put in an effort on any game. I really did make a really quiet net. Well, I'll put together a little console again. Dude, it took that C? Crazy. Well done. We have taken objective Charlie. I got shot in the back. Trying to go get a bocce there. On your desktop? I might want to get that checked. Ugh. Like I said, mine's just silent. Oh, 
I will save you. Now, should I be reviving everyone? Like, what kind of benefits does it get? Like, tickets for us? Or I guess that doesn't matter, does it? Xbox yeah, servers keeps are more of our soldiers. Bots. I don't think this game has bots in it, does it? Ah, I've heard the rumor of it, but yeah, I think that's it's just supposed to be a rumor. The new Battlefield's gonna have bots. They confirm that. This one though, this one doesn't have bots in it. Unless you're saying you've heard a rumor that they actually have bots in it. <laughs> well, you no, know, like I've seen people that like, oh, oh, the game, no one plays it. It must be full of bots, but like it's been denied, sort of thing. So like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I've really seen anyone that plays this that actually feels like a bot. Yeah, I... Yeah. Right? Where they'll, like, run in a circle while you're shooting at them. Yeah. This vicious guy can just survive me. It's crazy. Oh, I can call in an airstrike. Losing Charlie? I'm on Charlie. Adam. We are losing it. Pretty fast. What the hell? Back to Charlie we go. There's this lion down there. I'll, I'll shoot an airstrike on it next spawn in, eh? Depends on games you're it does depend on games you're playing. There's lots of people that play games on Xbox, you know that, right? <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> All the match ended, I was just like We may have been pushed <sighs> the field for the German victory. I was just about to do an airstrike, that sucks. Human bots. Oh, I don't know, I always thought Xbox had more intense players. We can still more competitive players. Reduced vehicle respawn delay? <gasps> I do kind of like that. I I've said that before, like on Breakthrough, when I'm like 40 kills or whatever, and we're not getting it. It's like, what are you bots doing? What are you bots? <laughs> the Germans continue their relentless advance. I thought I picked Breakthrough. Maybe it just says Breakthrough in the thing? I don't know. Weird. German victories inevitable. The remaining allies rally for our one final defense? It's pretty dark. Spoiler alert, they lost. What? It's supposed to be the Battle of France that pushed through in 39. This isn't history, so you know. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, let's change it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Let's change the dynamics of color. This flowing, loading. You know, some people might look at this screen just like, what is going on right now? <laughs> like, I mean, I can kind of see that's loading, but I think a regular person would just be like, what is that? Oh, this looks lovely. The poppin' doesn't, but the yellow fields look nice. Guard the rear, and if possible, push them back with all your might. All my might? Hi from Poland. Hi, Poland. Here, Series X is when I... it's got a disc. That that would be the disc make it sounds, right? Not the console. There haven't been competitive players on Xbox since Battlefield 4. That's just not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these lovely... The, the grass looks really fake, like this wheat here. It looks really, really fake. Like, it's super 2D looking. I feel like I'm looking at, like, Doom sprites. I mean, there's a lot of it, so like, it's a nice effect right. when you're looking at it, but, like, when you're in the middle of the field looking at it, uh, it's hella fake. Waiting for players to join. Where did all the players go? Hey, Kane. How you doing? Hey, Emma. What are you doing? <laughs> Sobbing. Hey, I heard it's a new match. It's probably a good time for people to like like the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Ask questions, you know. Donations are great too, I've heard. And subscribing is, is apparently spectacular. I mean, I haven't felt that sort of exhilaration because I can't subscribe to myself, but... <laughs> if you could, would you? No. <laughs> I mean, I definitely think I would. <laughs> Which BF would I consider more intense, BF1 or 5? Uh, again, about the same. Depends like, on the map. Depends on the map. Like, I feel like these both those games are like basically kind of the same almost. In terms of like mechanics. 
it doesn't feel like there's a huge gap in like quality map. That makes sense. Oh, like underground can be pretty intense, and like Battlefield One Verdun. I love that map. Trying to take the hill as the Germans. Oh. No, no. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I, I don't know. <laughs> competitive. I guess it depends on how you're defining like the competitiveness. It Battlefield in general, I don't really compete this one too much. It's just kind of like playing it. I need a spawn, Kevin. Oh, I got one. Nice. Love it. Kind of a bad spot. Ah! <laughs> Yo, what happens at this building? We knock it down. I will save lives. I'm such a team player. I'm not feeling too good, man. Throwing a, on a med kit. Are these poppies? poppies. That looks like the church has fallen apart. They're desecrating the religion of the land. <laughs> Wait, are we attacking? Uh, it's a neat little mode. Everyone fights for control of the middle village, and whoever gets it, then we have to go blow up their artillery. Oh. I thought this was a Like a tug-of-war? Yeah. We ended up in grand operation somehow. Are you sure I just searched for break? Whatever. It doesn't matter, as long as there's lots of people. You made an alt account to subscribe? <laughs> just make an alt account to subscribe to myself? But would it be as riveting and as fulfilling? I don't think so. <laughs> uh. So this is like just an 11 minute battle to take this town? I do not like this as much as I like, like Breakthrough. We'll, we'll play through this. Yeah. <gasps> I've fallen and I can't get up. I heard that's an issue now. <laughs> I need life alert. <laughs> life alert ad. Damn. No. Oh, the fields are burned. They burned the horribly fake 2D looking wheat. What a shame. Wow, it looks like you could use a healthy. Apparently I'm going to use it on myself and not give it to you. Here, have some smoke. Ooh. Oh, I got sniped. Hi, Jax, welcome. Can you play this in third person? I don't believe so. No, I the first person game. First person shooter. I mean, they probably have the tech to allow you to do it. I mean, Battlefront had it, right? I don't think it would be too crazy for them to actually make that a thing, but this is this is definitely it. <gasps> Not this new car, it's totally smashed. Oh, they defused it. Oh, come on, get in there and break it down. Yeah, this is definitely like a little bit less exciting than breakdown. We'll probably find a different lobby for actual after this, I think. Sure. Well, I'm trying to get through barbed wire in a hell of a time for that. Not working well. Not working well at all. So we're gonna blow up the artillery. Hmm. A lot of guys out in the fields. Did we win already? Yeah. Big ol' win. What's the point of that? It's like two minutes long. Alright, let's, let's... Wait, is there like a quit option? Let's, let's find an actual breakthrough level. Hopefully 2042 is just as immersive as this one. I guess. Sure, why not? What do you think, Kevin? Should this be as... Should the next one be as immersive as this one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just like Battlefield. <laughs> I just like Battlefield. He just wants yeah. more.
wants to be in the sand. It's all, yeah. I like what you're doing. Keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Or of the same. Get the latest intel here on the Battlefield 2042 briefing. I've already seen it. You know that like green area? Well, I mean, you guys can see what I'm seeing, but not even Kevin. But that's actually like a place in South Korea, which is wild. How do I close? This oh, area? that's cool. Oh, it's loading. That's it's just showing the splash thing, the loading thing. Yeah, it's an actual real place. Somebody in the Battlefield subreddit posted like a picture of it. And I was like, oh, that's pretty That's cool. I know for like Battlefield 4, there was that uh, Rogue's transmission map or whatever with the big mega disc, and that's yeah. supposed to be like a real place, yeah. Oh, wow. To the play game that needs third person cyberpunk? I don't know if third person would make sense in that game. Like, it does for the driving, but I don't know, like, shooting and stuff. Like, it's a pretty first person game, so. I would say the new Avatar game, I could definitely use. Person mode, because it's going to be first person. I don't like the aim sensitivity. Oh. What do I think of Battlefield 6? Looks cool. Very happy with what I've seen of it thus far. Quite happy. Will it be good? Who knows? We'll have to review it and see, right? Are you on a loading screen? Because this loading screen seems to be taking forever. Yeah, I'm back. Like, I feel like this loading screen is artificially longer just for me to actually see this battlefield <laughs> briefing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm crazy, but... Add tactic? That'd be funny. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking here. All these things say breakthrough. How the hell did we end up with a... You know, a grand operations? I'm genuinely curious. Operation. If I was to theorize, it's because Grand Operations is a mixture of Conquest, uh, Frontlines, and, and Breakthrough, yeah. They advertise new games through old games. It makes it feel more obsolete. That's exactly why they do it. Into the new one. And to make those money. I do bill. need an invite, though. I thought you were in my squad. Post together. Booted me. It hurts my feelings with my squad like that. Sad face. No. <laughs> okay, I can get your gamer tag, but I can't like invite you for something. Are you able to join my squad? Is that like an option? Um, let's see, like pick your gamer tag. Send you an invite. Oh, you're in there. Yeah, there, there, there we go. go. Figured yeah. it out. Nice. Cyberpunk does have a really cool character customizer, and you're right. You barely get to see your character. So are you supposed to be looking in the mirrors all the time? Just wait till we do our cyberpunk stream, it's gonna be hot. People are gonna be in the comments and gonna be like, this game sucks. <laughs> be like, whatever. There are only certain areas in the map that will have destruction. Yeah, I remember hearing the rumors where it's like you go on like every level of buildings in Battlefield 2042, and then you see the trailer, and I'm like, nope, not happening. It's just a bigger Battlefield 4. That's exactly what it yeah. is. <laughs> I dare say, it seems like the visuals maybe don't quite look as good as this one does, almost. I know that's hard to say, but it seems like... And maybe final gameplay will be different, but it looks more... You know, it looks a little aged compared to this one. Like, it seems more like Battlefield 4, which is probably heresy to see, but... There's to say, but from the gameplay trailer at the Xbox event, I'm like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, the first in-game engine stuff, that looks really next-gen. So I hope that's how it ends up looking. But we are in a new match, and you know what that means. Hey, Kevin, liking the video. Oh boy, I hit it with that line. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Slamming that like video, or like on the video. <laughs> Asking those questions, those hard-hidden questions, you know, the ones that make Kevin go, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then uh, the donations are fun always. I, I've, you know, I, I feel like they're fun, and and subscribing is just. I've always been told it's an exhilarating experience, but it's not something that I, I do a lot. But. Like, it'll make your day. If you're having a bad day, you subscribe, you'll just feel good about yourself, sort of thing. Well, probably. I heard it's just yeah, like... No. Uh, <laughs> the euphoria you get from it is just like next-gen. It's all next-gen here. It's all... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some fun with this, right? <laughs> <laughs> just certain areas of the maps. Hmm. Yeah, I enjoy Cyberpunk. This game looks beautiful. Yeah, it, it really does. It actually does just look absolutely lovely. Uh, on the team. That looks amazing. I bet those CX viewers, it looks even more intense. TVs do change how you see a game as well. 
people don't keep that in mind. Eliminate this. I is always thought bigger breakthrough. teams out. Yeah, it's big breakthrough. Is it? Yeah. Eliminate the enemy forces. On like my favorite map too. I thought Ooh, breakthrough wee. was like positionally based. Or maybe I'm just not thinking right on this. Yeah, we took the sectors, so now we get to shoot the retreaters in the back. Oh, nice okay. Thanks. I'm just totally thrown off after that last match. <laughs> well, that's all good. This is like Operation Metro. Exactly it. But World War. World War II, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, you know it. We're going back. Back. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> So into that side. The contraband trailer. These guys didn't know Xbox might be picking up Avalanche Studios. Should be pretty excited. I'm in like a corner hiding, I think. By dying. Oh, there's a room here. Ah, cool. This room like. Kind of like a flanking route almost that nobody's taking. Oh, you took it. Oh, there's a lot of bad guys. And you know what? I feel like my controller's dying. It is. I have to switch on the fly. This is why I put batteries right beside myself. Right for yeah, that's, like this. Don't have to go far. Yeah. Am I playing this in 4K? You bet your ass I am. <laughs> 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 uh. Yeah, I stream in 4K. It's quite a feat, I think. Not many people do. That high quality. None of that 1080 crap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I will save your life. Who puts smoke down? You never smoke where you are, you always smoke where you're going. That's actually cool. very great advice. It is. I hate people that smoke where you are because you can't see anything, but if you smoke where you're headed, you give yourself like a path to go where you blind your enemies. I also love smoking ahead of me and then going prone and crawling forward. Very smart. You usually get the jump on them. Yeah. We used to play like PUBG or something with my one friend and he would always smoke our position. I'd be like, I can't see where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're just like basically, you know, enemies from the outside, they're like, okay, we'll just, we'll look at this cloud of smoke, and as soon as they pop out, we'll just shoot them. It's a basic strategy. Cool makeup on. Getting shot from the side here. I think I spent too much time reviving people. You're just the medic the city needs. Yeah, I'm like the Batman of medics. Yeah. <laughs> I like how this guy literally like, so he, you know, I'm shooting at these enemies. So he closes the one door so I can't shoot, and then he walks in front of me so I'm just shooting into the back of his neck. <laughs> it's like, seriously? How much, How much did the Germans pay you? How much did the Germans pay you? Quality looks amazing. Thanks. I, I hope it does. I'm very proud of the that. And then you know when apparently I'm gonna get gigabit available this summer. Like a bump up to that plan, and then we're gonna stream at like really high bit rates. Like this is like kind of low bit rate 4K, but it's still like you know 4K. And then when I can crank it up to like you know it's all the gigabit instead of like 130 megs, we'll be uh we'll be popping. We'll look real good. <laughs> real, real good. Ah, smoked. Yeah. But I think there's a bigger leap from PS4 to PS5 than there was PS3 to PS4. Yeah, definitely. Way, way bigger leap this gen. I was always a little disappointed at how little, like, it, it felt like a big change back at the time. But when you kind of went on a couple years in, it was like, it felt like a minimal generational upgrade last time. Whereas this legitimately feels like a next gen change. For Xbox and PlayStation. Because it's not just the graphics improving, it's the uh, processor really is intense, the new uh, hard drives, 
it, it's, a, it's just a monumental leap in technology compared to the 360 Xbox One, where it was like a small, you know, like resolution bump. Whereas here, it's like games fundamentally are going to be different with the generation, how they're made and developed, which is really exciting. Well, you can actually go in the water here. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Where does this neat little flank? You gotta swim straight across or you'll drown. I feel like I'm drowning. My screen's all like black and stuff. I'm losing health. How far is this, Kevin? Oh, uh, not too far. There we go. Then right here. Beautiful spot. Good flank. They don't see you right away. I feel like we could have just like, literally like, walked in front of the other team, though. Right here. <laughs> kind of a good flank. Let me pick up your sore ass. There you go. Get on you. your feet, Ish. soldier. Oh, man, you couldn't save me. That hurts. Mechanic in this game. Oh, wait, you're down? Your oh, I got gotcha. you. That would have been helpful, eh? Oh, I heard about that. That would have been very cool if they did that. Man, it's kind of silly that they didn't almost. Or you could crawl yourself would be helpful. Hmm. This leap from 2D to 3D. Yeah, like, it's, it's not just, like, a lot of people, like, you kind of like, oh, it looks a little bit better, but, you know, the gaming, it's just, you're gonna change so much because of these consoles. You know, you, you look at how they can load in stuff now almost instantly, like Ratchet and Clank's a good showcase of that, where you can load in entire other worlds with zero, like, loading, if that makes sense. Like, you literally go through a portal, and you appear in a different world, a different level, and there's no loading involved in that. And then you've got, you know, the improved visuals, uh, you got the CPU there that's powerful, so you're gonna have a lot more physics and AI and stuff going on. And then we've got, like, the power to have, like, full ray tracing in games, which completely changes the version of the experience. Um, more advanced controllers, particularly on PlayStation. Haptics, they have on that one are really cool. Uh, you know, obviously with, like, the consoles not being too massive, and it really is quite a, quite a leap. Oh, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it, Kevin? Just just wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the loading, I don't know, the idea of, like, instant loading. Like, did you play the Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, you guys, you played a bit of that one. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, like, almost no loading in that now. That's really weird. They cut the loading I... time, they said, by more than half. With the optimization that came out this week. And I played it, and I, I literally didn't really experience like any loading at all. It just showed the screen for like a second, and I was in. Which is nuts. You should just have like a five-minute video showing the original Morrowind loading. <laughs> for you know, sure. Comparison. Oh, that's funny. OG Morrowind versus now. I, I, I do actually do like quite a few comparison videos. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but like I do side by sides. Like I, I watched your uh, gears. Yeah, I was really interested in that one. The side by side. Mm hmm. How to work to do those videos, but they're, they're a lot of fun. I was thinking of doing one <laughs> for the Elder Scrolls Online because I bet it looks a lot different from Xbox One. Exact same with uh, the Division. Somebody was asking about that, so I was can't do. It. Just a lot of work because you gotta like install the game on the other thing or move the hard drives over, and oh god, it sucks. Painful. Not as painful as <laughs> going back to 360 though. Oh my god, for 360 comparisons, uh, makes me want to jump off a cliff. Yeah. So bad. That bad now, right? Eh? Remember when that was top of the line? Yeah, I don't know how we stood with and handled that. We didn't know better. No, <laughs> it's just... That's exactly it. It's it's complacency of the time, right? Yeah. Yes, one having the best graphics. Well, you always think that, right? You know, you play 360, and we didn't care about stuff like this as much back in the day. At least I don't think so. The only time we started giving a damn about graphics were when the Xbox One came out and Little Foundry started pumping that out there, and people were like, ooh, <laughs> you know. Which is hilarious, because, you know, I bring this point up sometimes. And it's like, you know, people, like, Hitman runs at, like, what is it, 1800p on PS5, whereas on Xbox it runs at a native 4K. And, like, you know, that's a bigger gap than 900p to 1080p, right? Like, it's, it's like, a pretty substantial, like, bump, and people just don't care now all of a sudden, which is funny. <laughs> but, you know, like, Xbox would be like, oh, damn, 720p versus 900, it's like, oh, this is unplayable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know kind of like it's almost comical the, the standards there the double double standard but it looks awful compared to pc like on the elder scrolls online i think it looks beautiful on series x 
at 1440p at 60, it looks really nice. They improved the draw distance, same as on PC, same with the shadows. Um, oh, what was it? Gears 5 actually runs at a higher, I think, texture set than PC does, which is kind of nuts. Higher than Ultra. Just insane what we're able to achieve. And we're just getting started, too. Like, this is, you know, early in the generation. Like, we're not even, like, fully optimized to be properly using these consoles yet. Well, I heard the Series X is, like, basically as powerful as, like, a cheap computer, you know, like, or, like a decent computer. A really good computer. It's, like, yeah. uh, comparable to, like, a 2070 or something like that, 2070 Super. Huh. Pretty high-end, and I mean, the fact that you can't even, like, get graphics cards. I was seeing people in, like, the PC subreddits on, on Reddit, and, uh, you know, they're, like, getting the Series X is, like, your best value, because you can't get a graphics card for a decent price right now. It's a real issue. Yeah. Battlefield 5. Well, Battlefield 5 isn't optimized on Xbox. It's just using the Xbox One X enhancement. Like, this game looks this good. It's not even optimized. Just imagine how much better it could actually look. Although it does have an FPS boost. If you drop the resolution, you get 120 on this. I think this was one of the ones. That, which I think is kind of cool, but... You know, my capture currently does uh, 4K60, because there's not really a capture card out there, or a pass-through that does 120 hertz. So, yeah, stuck with this. But still, I, I mean, like, I'd probably want 4K60 to be a balance for quality. Damn shame PS3 games aren't backwards compatible. It is! Think of all the videos I could be doing on PS5 like that. Yeah, because I don't know if you, you see Kevin, but I, I literally, like, I just do videos of, like, older games running on the new platforms, and that's kind of what yeah. my, my thing is, right? I, I do the same for PlayStation, but, like, my PS5 library is, like, 200 games, so there's not too many videos I can do. Whereas Xbox, my library is like 2,000 games or something like that, so... Yeah, you're showing that one time your library is huge. <laughs> yeah. Never run out of time. Yeah. Too many games. And yet I still sit there sometimes and I'm like, ah, I've got nothing to play. Not, not recently, <laughs> yeah. I've always got work to do recently. But, you know, back before I was doing like the videos all the time, I... God damn it, what should I play? It's a real issue. <laughs> Have I done a Gears 5 Hive Buster DLC video? I haven't yet. I was thinking of doing... Because they didn't really advertise or anything. They didn't really make it like a big deal. And I was like, everybody said such positive things about it. I was thinking of doing a stream working through Hive Busters. And I was kind of trying to find somebody to do it with. Uh, my one friend that I always play Gears with, he's already done it. So I was like, oh, that sucks. So I'll, I'll probably do a Hive Busters like, live stream at some point. Was what I was thinking might be the best way to play that one. Yeah. Playing a 4K TV and playing Returnal 10 but apparently Internal or Returnal's got really good upscaling tech. I haven't even seen it. I think I just pop up a Returnal stream sometime and just like deal with the sadness of buying a bunch. Although lots of people turn out for Red Dead, and I just get like massacred in that one. Same <laughs> with GTA. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, love... sniped. Huh? Oh, just a sniper on me. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, sniped too. Imagine Metal Gear Solid on P4 on PS5. Barely have time to see Snake smoke a cigarette, goddammit. Uh, there will be a, a Metal Gear Solid 2 video tomorrow. And then 3 the next day. I actually don't have a secondary video prepared for tomorrow, so that's not going to be good. For my metric stats. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. I used to, when I was like pre-launch and I was stacking up videos, I used to be able to do 4 a day. But, uh, you know, I, I deal with other people living. I don't get to, like, plan like I used to. Yeah. There was a point where I had it set up where I had, like, four videos released a day. And I was, like, five days ahead of those videos. I don't remember what screwed that up. There was some kind of game I was playing. Pull my attention away. And this would have... Oh god, is tomorrow Saturday? Or it's Saturday right now? Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the gym tomorrow for the first time in like... <laughs> Ooh. Months and months. Should be fun. Make sure you look even better in that v-neck. Oh yeah, I gotta get a little bit more. Just, just a little bit of weight. I didn't I didn't get too much, but you know, I just gotta be, get back to my peak style. And also yeah. for my knee, I wanna, you know, get on there and get training it properly in a gym, which, you know, well, properly. 
Is that feeling any better for you? Uh, it's been much better the last few days. Much. Good, good. I, I really messed it up on that hill decline I did, like, <laughs> you know, a little bit ago. It's, it's been bad, yeah. but it's, it's a lot better now. Thanks for asking. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, it's a lot better. Until I re-injured again, you know, something. But the ellipticals are supposed to be really good for <laughs> it, so I'm hoping that kind of, like, you know, back there. It's, it's so funny, because, you know, I, I work out for seven years straight, and then... You know, get in good shape, and the COVID hits, and I'm just like screwed, and I injure myself. <laughs> <laughs> just hilarious. Like I've I've never had like really any sports industry injuries or anything, and I played like hockey and soccer and lacrosse and stuff for years. Yeah. And then the moment I stop working out, that's, that's when I get hurt. Uh, bonjour, Matt. Oh, I had like a French sentence figured out to ask how you were doing and that, but I've I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> well, we've got a guy, he's, he's French, he comes in, he's always very nice, you know, he comes and says hello and that. I'm trying to, like, remember, like, a phrase or something or two. Like, I can say, like, Je m'appelle Jason, um, ça va bien, uh, you know, I know, like, a little bit, but I don't, like... Way more like, French than I know. Yeah, a little bit of French. My Buster's DLC looks like a Series X game. Yeah, that's what I was saying, it was so weird how little that one was promoted, even to me as a press, like... I didn't even really hear about it until it was out and stuff that, you know, Hyper Busters was the thing, and then I'm hearing nothing but great things about it. I'm like, why was this not promoted? Why weren't they like, hey, this is a brand new way to play Gears? I've heard it's phenomenal. So we'll do a stream someday, and we'll, we'll work through it. I'll, I'll rope somebody in to come and play that and stuff, or I'll play by myself. I, it but at some point, we'll do a Hyper Busters. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't want to shoot down this statue. Can we do that? Ah, oh, the statue. Yeah, that's cool. I got smoke because sticky diamond. Oof. Oh. Yeah, definitely should have more promotion. <gasps> I'm being revived. Thank you, weird. I hope I'm dead again. So this is their last spot, eh? Yeah. Just gonna break through this last spot. Oh, he's the title of the game. Look <laughs> at no, okay. this guy. Gotta hear crack of jokes. I think I have enough for artillery. Looks like Hibachi's joined back. Oh, we don't have an option for that. Supply canister or a smoke barrier? The supply canister? That sucks, they took away the artillery strike option. Ah, yeah, I just this map. No. I don't see why we should be able to just pummel these guys. Sorry. Did your sound just cut out? Uh, negative. That's weird. How's my Spanish? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Por <qué? laughs> that's, that's what I know. Like, it is, like, silent, this game, all of a sudden. I hope we're not having an issue like I had with uh, Call of Duty 4 the uh, one time. The, d the possibly dying hard drive that never died? Let, let me take a look at what hard drive this is on. Uh, uh, Yarny 2 is supposed to be the good drive, so I, maybe it's just the game. Where is Biff the guinea pig? Oh, Biff died like a long time ago. He was like 8 years old. No, like a decade ago he was 8 years old. No, 20, 2013, I think he was. He was like eight, which is really a long time for a game. You think we mentioned one dead animal a stream? No, I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm coming up with it. Uh, Biff lived a, a very satisfying life as a guinea pig. I mean, their life expectancy is five to eight years, so like eight years, it's, uh, it's pretty what damn more top. What can you story. ask? Hmm? Oh, so what more can you ask? That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this game has like no sound for me all of a sudden. I hope it's fixed next match. Maybe it's just like a glitch thing. It's just strange. Yeah, the game audio is just completely gone. I don't understand. That's weird. Yeah. Maybe it's like a bug. Quickly, somebody Googled the answer to the F5, no sound. Hmm. <laughs>
No sound. Audio bug. He's talking about PC settings. That no sound Xbox One. Solve the issue here. Go into your Xbox settings. Cycle your MAC address. That's weird. I don't have to do that. Hmm. That's strange. I don't know. I hope next match it just kind of gets fixed. Like eerily quiet. There's no audio, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, it makes it hard too, because you know audio is a big part of like seeing where your foes are. Uh, I'm from Canada. It's a thrilling place. Oh. I look, we've got Hibachi here. Oh, I see you did there, Kevin. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, never mind. It didn't work. Maybe I go to the settings. I think it would fix my next stretch. There's a glitch in uh, Siege where if you lose audio, you're going to get booted from your match like 100%. That's really odd. It is. Because usually the last loss of audio is like your game kind of like glitching and like going into a crash state. See that here. This is a little weird. I've never seen this in this game. And it's like my drive that wasn't having issues too. Like I was having issues with like the Cortana drive, but. Arnie drive's been fine, so. Hmm. Might be bugged from an explosion? Yeah, I could see that happening. Yeah. Definitely see that being an explosional thing. It's just weird. <laughs> just bizarre. And I don't want to give up yet. We're doing so well, I think. We're pushing through. We're breaking. Almost through. got it. Oh! He oh. said it! End game. No. <laughs> End game. Scroll or scroll credits. Ugh. I'm dead. Rocket left our squad? Well, that hurts my feeling. Not a good first intro to this game. Well, you know, I might have issues or so, but to be fair, this is like literally the first time I've ever had this problem. Yeah. Very strange. I mean, think of it, maybe my guy just got like tinnitus or something. <laughs> 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 He's lost all hearing. Doing the archer, ma, ma, shooting the guns and stuff. He's just like, <laughs> I can't hear anything. Ooh, oh, I mean, I'm getting kills. Like, what's the score here? I'm negative. God damn it! You're level 184. God damn. It. Oh, you every know time. it. Wasting time. time on this, man. No, <laughs> you live for this battlefield every day. Gave it my heart and soul, and they're like, "Yeah, we're done with updates." Now we're done with updates. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's a little, a little creepy being audio. Should I add audio in? <laughs> <laughs> bang! 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 bang. <gasps> I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying over here. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> I was trying to do the MG sounds. Okay, it ended. Victory. Yeah. Not the best first intro for people. Don't worry, it usually works. I think. Not maybe I'll have to restart the game after the match or something. Like that. The next match. That doesn't look like our squad. No. <laughs> oh, we were the best. Definitely the most deaf. <laughs> Maybe if I go to like the lobby, a smart idea, or do you think we should just stay in there? We'll, we'll just wait and we'll see if it loads. Yeah, I'd see. Audio. You guys are level 390. Somebody plays this game a lot. That's what I'm saying. Whenever I see a level 500, it's like, whoa. Like, get some sunlight. Get some sun. Uh, you know, it's just great. Because my back doesn't hurt. Yeah, that chair seems like a good purchase from what you're saying. The lumbar support. This gets me good. It's one of the best sensations I've had in a while. 
Have I ever played RuneScape? Yeah, that's actually where my name comes from. My RuneScape account. <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Uh, yeah, no, I, I've I've played a, a bit of RuneScape, quite a bit when I was younger, a little bit through the years, not as much recently, but um. Yeah, they actually, for the 15th anniversary, I think it was a RuneScape, they sent me a, a crystal RuneScape glass. You can see it in my 50,000 subscriber video I found out of it. Yeah, it's uh, it like an actual crystal glass from celebrating. Pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, for Menophos, they sent me the pyramid from it and some sand from Egypt when they went there to go and like, take a look at it. So, yeah, I've worked with RuneScape but just a bit. Evan, I still don't hear any audio. We'll see when I get Ooh. into the map. Oh well. Operation. Operation Underground. They should have brought back Hurt Locker, but Hurt Locker. 19, whatever. 40. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've done my RuneScape. You ever done RuneScape, Kevin? Most people are. I yeah, I played it yeah when we were all younger. Yeah. It was like the craze for a bit there. Mm -hmm. Old school right there. I still I want them to throw it on console. I think that would be a lot of fun. Just imagine the stream, but only old school Rinsky. <laughs> How about old school? Oh, oh, oh. God, this is loading for a while. Like, is yours loaded yet? Yeah, I'm already killing people. I'm already killing people. I'm restarting my game. Sure, go for it, man. There's something, I'll back out. something wrong with it, obviously. Like something. I hope the Yarny drive isn't. Maybe I need to start the call. Maybe the Series X is happening. Let's see. I think my menu's making sounds. Yeah, it's making sounds. Level 40 right now in the Battle Pass? God, Jax, you're crazy. Back in 2003, all I did was kill cows. I just, I, uh, I just made fires back in the day. I cut trees and, and make fires. That's all I did. Yeah. Didn't really kill people or anything. I just, like, literally would go out into the forest and I just cut a tree and set a fire. I used to do the, uh, the oaks, I think it was. The members area. That's... Yeah. Or, like, was it Lumbridge or whatever? Oh, there you know what's really cool i have a vinyl of the, the the soundtrack for runescape and it like i get emails and like tweets like people message me on twitter about it because it's like a super rare limited printed vinyl copy that's cool yeah i'm not selling it my goddamn vinyl runescape no yeah hold on to that oh. yeah that's it's that's a rare thing watch that be worth a lot when we're really old <laughs> it is worth a lot now people are like name your price and i'm like jesus <laughs> oh jeez. Play as uh, Sky Captain. Like it's loading slower or something. Maybe I gotta restart my. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give her a reset. I think. This See, is weird. Reset a roo. Yeah, she loads up pretty fast. So it's not a big deal. Weird technical issue. Like I had a similar problem when I was doing Modern Warfare Remastered long ago. And then resetting it was kind of good. Hmm, usually it resets by now. This is weird. Oh, there we go. I love the the opening Xbox thing on this new gen console. It's just so awesome. Xbox. <laughs> it like connects so fast. The app you own isn't installed. Oh yeah, my hard drive's got to pop up quickly. How hides for the win? I remember grinding levels in RuneScape, just killing goblins over super low goblins. <laughs> so there's a <laughs> uh, Was RuneScape the first popular free-to-play game or something? I think it was like the biggest like free to play MMORPG or something at the time or whatever. Like I just like everyone I know at that age, at least males like played it. You know, that might be a fair point though. I can't name another free game that like had such craze for it. Not at that time. Yeah. 
And it's not like you were watching TV back in the day and it would be like free to play game. No, I don't think it really had much competition. This is a big deal. This is a really big deal. Finish your battle pass so you can do other games. I love how you throw away all the single player games you're working on just to crank out that Cold War battle pass. That's hilarious. You know, kind of amazed me this game never did a battle pass. Yeah, you think they would have shifted over to do it, right? Because it's those. Yeah. Racing. I got audio again. I got audio, guys. Huzzah. Huzzah. But you know what I really have? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm plugging my, my earpiece there, but what I really have is great lumbar support. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm not going to be feeling when I'm sleeping tonight? You're back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> External hard drive corrupted for Series X? Is there a way to fix it? Uh, you'd probably have to reformat it. No. Did you know that RuneScape is actually more popular now than it's ever been? Like, it's got more players than it's ever had. Really? Just all this older ones talking about it and everyone's jumping on it? It's, it's, got, it's had steady growth for years. I get, like, the reports in my email every year. And it's like, you know, it's, it's never been as big as it's been now. We're creating a squad. Got your invite sent, man. Sorry for the issue, guys. It's just really weird. We've got to break through. The Pacific Storm. Uh, Rotterdam's not very popular. So we could go to Hamada, which might have a bit. Pacific. Let's let's do Hamada's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, North Africa, all that. Battlefield Firestorm still a thing. I don't think anyone plays it. Yeah, I love that. I actually I played a whack load of that, and then I just slowly they never did any updates for it. And no, I, I think it was like, a yeah. big failure. It took too long to put out. It, it wasn't free. And it just like kind of crashed and burned, right? Yeah, like, yeah, I can't find a match for it at all now. But, like, me and a couple of my buddies were getting really good at it. Hmm. And when I look, it says I got, like, a 70% win percentage on, like, solo plays, which I kind of don't believe it's too high, but I don't know. Yeah, if your hard drive isn't being found by a PC when you plug it in, I think your hard drive's dead, man. I think it might just be a dead drive. Sorry, somebody's asking about their hard drive, but it sounds like it's no, just dead. No, that's all good. I'm just, yeah. Did WoW players make fun of RuneScape players? I don't remember that ever being an issue. I don't think WoW players had the leverage to. You know, I'm just like... That's something I've always wanted on Xbox, was uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah, actually, last time I played it, they brought out the classic, and I guess they just did Burning Crusade for it. And yeah. I started playing that when Burning Crusade came out. Wasn't even there for the original. Like they added controller support about a year ago to Xbox and so I kind of assumed they might be porting it. After script, I totally think it. Xbox could handle it. Oh crap, you guys all but left my squad, that's not good. No, I didn't want to Oh this game. I didn't realize that made everybody quit the <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate this game loading sometimes. Next gen battlefield better be snappy as hell. Are you able to rejoin by chance? Watch yes. Try. Jeez, stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling. Yeah, I mean, if it's not showing up on your PC, it's, it's probably like dead. Like, if it's not. Like, I'm just assuming based on what it sounds like that it might be a dead drive. Yeah, because it should show up on your PC still. Yeah. Yeah, but I think there was ever a World of Warcraft and a, you know, RuneScape kind of battle that makes. They're very they're they're the same genre, but they're very different. Games. I'd love both of them on console though. I could just like waste hours doing streams. And be the best. What kind of character did you make? What? 
World of Warcraft. Warcraft yeah. yeah. I had a few because I, I was always like, I owned it for a little bit, but I didn't really play it then. But well, why are we We're in. Oh, the like, thing's full? Now Hamada's open. Can we do Hamada now? If you leave the queue, you also leave your squad. Why is that a thing? Can we cancel the queue? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> it is literally I'm into stupid. I'm Pacific Storm right now. I thought you were in this match. You're in a game? Yeah, I'm loading into one. You loaded in, but I didn't load in? Uh... I'm the leader, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this game sometimes kills me. Just kills me, but... Uh, I played, uh, like I said, you know, I had it a little bit at my house, but I don't think I played it much. I mostly played it at my friend. I'd go there, because, you know, his dad was, like, hardcore about it. And he still plays with his dad, but then him, he you know, he played a bit. So I would make a character there, and I'd work through it, like, get to level 15 or something. My character would always get deleted by the next time there. A bunch of things. You know, busty dwarves, uh, night elves, <laughs> all, kinds, all kinds of different things, you know. I, like, so basically, I'd be, like, trying, you know, a, a new character, like, every time I went, right? And I'd get to, like, level 15, and then it would just get deleted. I just remember one time we were like chilling because we we like, played hockey with him, right? So his father was always there, and he looked at me. And he's like a busty dwarf, Jason, really. <laughs> and then he walked away. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know what you want from me, man. I just played the game. Well, God, I, I made like I, my characters will be always be called like Gandianfeld or something for some reason. So I had like you know. Like, probably like six or seven different characters that I would make just like, you know, when I would stay over there and we'd like play World of Warcraft or whatever. That's just kept making different types of characters. I tried like everything. I think my favorite maybe was like a human crusader guy or something. The paladins? Yeah, a human paladin, I think. And there was like some yeah. forest or something. I always made them lots. Yeah. Or actually, you know what? I think maybe it might have been one of the orcs. I like the orc areas. You know, like, Orcs were cool. I made a Tauren warrior the one time because I thought, oh, warriors are so cool, and I like put so much time into that, and then I kind of I didn't like warriors. And then <laughs> in my older age, I stopped making them. You know, I'd make paladins and stuff. Just always remember being blown away because we sit there and we watch his dad, and his dad would be in these like big raids where there's like hundreds of people fighting a dragon. I was like, damn, this is impressive. Like the right. coordination and stuff to do that. Insane. It's actually funny you say that. My old man got really big into it, and like the Witch King, uh, for his realm, he had like one of the top mages. And yeah, he was really big into that. And I remember being like, hey dad, can I have a computer? And he'd be like, nah, man, I'll give it to you when I'm done. And it'd be like three hours later, and they're like still raiding, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're intense. You can't let your group down. Right? Yeah. God, I wonder what kind of specs those computers had now, thinking back to it. <laughs> I bet it was like the week compared to today, but it would be cool to have that on consoles. It really would be neat. I don't think like there's no reason they shouldn't be. But... Like, we've seen a lot of MMORPGs kind of over here, so it's not like easy. Everybody was in the game but me. That sucks. Anyways, uh, new match. Like the video. Question stuff. Great. Donation school. Subscribing is awesome. Let's fight here. Konami didn't try to make a Metal Gear Battle Royale. I bet they did. I bet they did try that. Like, the output for Konami for game days is, like, really min super minimal. I think they did, like, Super Bomberman R recently, and that game is just, like... Oh, my God. Imagine uh, a Battle Royale, Kevin, that takes, like, five minutes to finish, and it takes three minutes to find a game and get into a no. game and load into a game. <laughs> it, it's, like, literally terrible. Like, it's kind of fun, but it, it's, it's literally terrible. That's funny. It's like every game tried doing a battle royale. Even NHL, they had like a 1v1 hockey tournament or something like that. And you'd all play each other and you'd try to be the last man. And it was like their royale, almost. I don't know. Uh, the world is you, are you in this, Kevin? Uh, one in Q. Oh, I thought you were right. Right away here. No. Oh, she's in here. I'm in here now. But like, yeah, the world. I actually like their competitive little thing. I didn't like that they turned it into a battle royale mode, though. Better before that. 1v1. I really want to do an NHL stream, but I think I'm going to have to wait for the next NHL game to come out before I can like, get people's interested in it. The NHL is cool. Me, Riley, and my uh, buddy uh, Spoonman would play that lots. 
I guess of like the EA. Did so I tell you about our good. team name getting booted? Uh, uh, you didn't tell me about that, but I'm assuming it's not a name you. No, no. Well, it was it was a double entendre. And I thought it was pretty funny. I'll tell you about it later. But yeah, yeah, we had it for like years and years, and then they just got rid of it one day, and it was like, oh no way, because like you'll see some raunchy stuff on there sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, they're they're really cranking down, and oh yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cutting down on stuff these days. You can't say anything that might be, like, slightly incorrect. Right. Or... Well, what I tell you later, like, it's not even that bad. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. yeah. I think, you know, context is often lost for a lot of things. Yeah. No. This game rocks. I mean, it's cool. There are a lot of rocks in it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, this is his favorite game in the world. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah. Gets high off this stuff. Yeah. He injects it into his veins. <laughs> Screw heroin, have you tried Battlefield 5? <laughs> hey kid, do you want to play some Battlefield 5? You want to buy some death sticks? Oh, do you think he went home and rethinked his life? I would assume that's what the point of him using the force thing was, right? <laughs> I guess it depends on how good of a Jedi Obi-Wan was. He was kind of a legend. I would imagine so. Kinda need of a player can control a Metal Gear and then has to fight everyone as a Metal Gear? A Metal Gear Battle Ring. I don't know, I think they're- I, don't, I think the Metal Gear franchise might be sitting there for a long time. I don't know if you guys played Metal Gear Survive, but my god, that was rough. I just don't know if they have anyone that could like work on it. You'd have to get someone like... You know, kind of take the mantle of the series almost. I don't know if they like, have someone that can do that. I don't even know if they have studios anymore that can like make those kind of things. When Amy's really just you know, put out the the PS each year, and I, I think they got like something that have, handles the Bomberman, but other than that, they just make the Chinko machine. I mean, Kevin, if you think about it, would you rather make really cheap pachinko machines and make you millions of dollars, or would you like to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on a game that most likely will make you lose profit? Always about them bills. Make as much money as you can. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the pachinko machines. Live and die by the pachinko. Funny. I mean, he might be able to risk, like, you know, kind of do his hard drive. It also depends on if it's SSD or just a regular hard drive, but I'm saying it's most likely that his hard drive is dead. Instead of him sitting there for hours trying to figure it out if he doesn't quite know that. It, it happens, like hard drives die. I've had hard drives die. Well, it's, it's part of having a hard drive, right? Yeah, eventually all gaming stuff dies, right? Mm -hmm. You have to buy a new Xbox or computer at some point. Uh, I've, like, I've got a I've got, like one hard drive on my computer that I think is literally like a decade old. Like, it just. No signs of quit. Nice. And then I've had other ones die after like a couple of years, and it's just, it's a it's a gamble. They're, that's just how it is. Right? Oh, there's the best and the worst one made it of anything, right? Yep. Oh, it did that thing where it was trying to spawn me, and then it was like, no, we're pulling it back. Oh, I hate that. Ooh, look at that beautiful map. No. A revive for you, my friend. See, yeah, you know, we should have just done Battlefield tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should have just done Battlefield. Screw trying new things. Just Battlefield <laughs> machines. Same old, same old. Yeah. It doesn't have to make any Battle Gear games. Yeah, Kojima's probably pretty happy doing whatever the hell he wants and having people throw buckets of money at him. I know I would be. I don't, I don't think he was happy with Konami with Metal Gear 5. I mean, he came like late and he was over budget by a ton, which obviously would be, like Konami would be like, ah, oh, come on, man. But uh, now he's probably just gets like whatever money he wants and he, whatever project he wants. It's crazy how much of a warship is around that guy. It's, it's almost at the same insane level as like that Snyder, Snyder guy for like DC film. Snyder would have saved DC. I hate his movies. Like, I, I legitimately <laughs> hate them. They're terrible. They're, like, desaturated slow-motion messes that are always sad and have some side of, like, intense, overly bearing narrative to them. Just do not enjoy them. Do you not like the, uh, extended Justice League? 
I watched like 30 minutes of it. I just couldn't even handle it. <laughs> like I watched like you know I reviewed it in theaters. I watched much bad movie Superman. It's just like bad, just bad. And I don't think adding like you know they're they're probably better with the extended cut, but like. You shouldn't need an extra like hour or so of your film to actually make your film like good or decent. Like I would say decent, not even good, right? That was interesting. Like what they were doing with that extended, you could see where they were trying to make a whole another series. Like they added in like the dark side story more, and it, like yeah, I don't know. They're they're trying to do like an MCU thing. I like, thought they're jumping at least too with that. fast. Like they should have probably yeah. done a standalone cyborg film and that would have given you a little bit more heart going into justice league because justice league from what i saw of it was basically they just turned it into a cyborg film which is fine i have no issues yeah. with that but it maybe should have been its own thing and then when you get into justice league you don't have to sit there and do all this like exposition and all this blah 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 and you know stuff yeah. like that looks like it was endless <laughs> And then you got like Wonder Woman just like annihilating someone, and the kids are like, "I want to be like you, killing people like that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the one where, uh, like, even in the extended, they show a bit more. I think it's in the original too. But when she dodge, like, uses the bracelets to stop all the bullets, and she hits it together, and you see like the whole wall blow out. And I'm like sitting there thinking that like dude was like on the end of that explosion too. Like he must have just like. And blown to smithereens. <laughs> right, like she could have just like probably she's powerful enough just to have blocked the bullets and just stopped them. Yeah, right. Instead, destroyed this guy. He didn't go to a theater for 17 years, and then the first movie you saw was Justice League. Oh man, that's rough. <laughs> you didn't go see rough. Endgame? What? The Endgame was like really good. There, there's been so many good films over the years. Oh, Max, I think that was the last movie I saw in theaters. It would make sense. I mean, they haven't been open that much, right? Yeah. I saw Freaky November. Was that, it was okay. Was it Freaky? I mean, not really. It was more of like a slasher. It was oh, like okay. Fitz Vaughn and that one year old great bodies or whatever. Oh, okay. I'm getting so tired of when they like t try to like down dress like a gorgeous lady. Because <laughs> 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 she's like. Even when they got her, like, nerdy and wearing, like, begging clothes, she's like, you know, she's just drop-dead gorgeous, and it's just like, okay. But she's supposed to be, like, the loser, and, you know, and when she's the killer, she's all confident, she's got a cool jacket. It's like, come on, give me a break. Right. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, there's, like, no players in this lobby. Should we find a new map? Sure, let's do it. I can't remember. My girlfriend actually showed me a movie. It was an old one she used to watch. I can't remember the name of it, but like they're very pretty girl. You know, I could have whatever. quit with Squad, like, right? Sorry. Oh, I backed out on my own. No, it's all good. Uh, pretty girl, come on, give me a full detail. Oh, I, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, it's really pretty chick or whatever, and like she was the unpopular one. And like I don't know, I, I I was just sitting there like thinking that like I it, I don't know in my experience in school or whatever that there's no way this girl would have been unpopular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's what I like for that freaky movie. I was just like I get so tired of this trope because like I just every time I see her on the screen I'm like she's way too cool for this group of kids. I don't know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be mean or anything, but I'm just like yeah, like she would be an alpha there, like no questions asked. Yeah. Like, even when they try to nerdy fire her, I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, she's, like, yeah. uh, you know, supposed to look all drab and not, like, dressed up with makeup and that. I'm like, still, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way someone would talk to her. <laughs> Look who that is, actually. As we're waiting forever for this game to load. I swear to god, the loading is slower now, so they can show you this battlefield <laughs> thing. Right? Like... Did you buy it yet? Did you? No, just... It's not even about buy, it's like a briefing thing. Like, it would make sense if they were trying to sell you on it. This is nuts, this loading here. I like that meme like... you told me about, I didn't see it, but the whole Anakin there. I know I shouldn't buy it. <laughs> no, sh <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> okay, let's refresh this. So are you... I didn't know. There you go. I just want, like, a decently oh. full match. Yeah. Solomon Islands, really? That's a, like, 
build one. Okay. Are you trying to do Pacific only? I'm, no, I'm trying to get like a full match, like one that's got lots oh. of players. Friday. Oh no, it's called Freaky. I'm not looking for the movie Friday. That's a completely different. Freaky. It's uh, Catherine Newton. I don't know if you know who that is, but no. Yeah, she's like an un unpopular nerdy one in the movie. I'm just like, nah, don't see it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. And it's like a lot of movies do that trope, right? I think they make fun of that in like not another teenage movie or something like that. Oh, not another teen movie. Yeah, that was pretty raunchy. <laughs> Is the installed on your internal hard drive the Seagate? Uh, this is the external drive. Yeah, it, it really doesn't change it that much though. I've had it on the internal and it's still like a bit of a slower type thing. Isn't it like people act like the externals are so slow compared to the internals, but when they're running these games, it kind of goes through the internal, if that makes sense? I don't know how to describe it, but... It, it really doesn't change things that much unless the game is like purely optimized for next gen. If you get to what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, new match. Like the stream. Questions upgrade. Donation school. Subscribing is awesome. Let's do this. Let's die. <gasps> I'm, I'm literally dying. Ugh, did you get into the match? <laughs> In the magical queue again. Oh. You sure like that queue? Oh, it's the best. Yeah. I've heard great things about it. I, I spent some time there, you know, elf, not too long ago. Great. <laughs> like, I want to go watch a movie, but there's not really, like, anything I want to see. Like, I was supposed to get a home screening link for, uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard's wife or whatever, but, like, the email never showed up. And I talked to the PR person, they're like, did you send me your review link when it's done? And I'm like, I never got an email for this. No. <laughs> I'm like, I have to go look at it. I, hopefully tonight I'll have time to go look at my emails and just like, double check, but I'm pretty sure I never did. I was supposed to watch it like two weeks ago. It's weird. I don't know, kind of a nerd for the Marvel movies, so they, I'm looking forward to that Black Widow one. I hope of. they're going to screen it. See, the thing is, like in the past, you know, you go to a theater, you do a screening, right? But Disney's yeah. the one. They, they're on the ball. They've, they've completely moved the screenings over to know their streaming service online or whatever or screening service online that they have i'm not sure if disney's gonna keep doing like press screenings or we're just gonna be at home i'm hoping they have black widow for me to I about that i hope it's in theaters uh you know, it, we're talking actually we'd rather go see it in the theaters just for the experience i don't know I'd i like the experience of going to the theaters yeah but maybe like, that's old school you know, if i get a screen at home it's, it's a lot easier for uh up, right well I, I, I even when i mentioned it to the guys at work they were all like oh i'd rather watch it at home because you can watch it multiple times it's like yeah but i don't know it just doesn't feel like a date night to me that doesn't feel special a lot like the theatrical yeah. experience is special to me 100 percent special. I, I guess some people don't get that but yeah i, I love going and watching movies it, it's just spectacular i've been trying to find Theater, like the Cineplex app, keeps saying they're going to be screen, like uh, doing uh, showings of like Booksmart here, but I haven't seen any you know, theaters that are running. God damn it! And I know it's coming to Netflix soon. Like they're adding it to Netflix Canada, which is soon. I've mentioned it to you last time. Nice. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to kind of like, if I could watch in the theater again, I'd really like to. Yeah, you know, I'd really like to see that on the screen again. Yeah. Same with what is it? I'd love to see La La Land again. It was kind of a small screen when I watched that one, but I'd love to see it on like really. That would be nice. That's neat. <sighs> well, there's some movies you know you watch them on a. At home, it's cool, but when you see them in a the theater, yeah. it's just a much different experience. Like uh, oh, they were doing like a 3D uh, event a couple few years back. I brought uh, Dylan and Asha and watched the. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon in 3D. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it was. It was so funny. It's like someday man dreams of traveling to the moon, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. This is before we actually went to the, <laughs> the moon. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, very well oh, done movie. When was though. it made? Like 50s? I, I think earlier. I think 40s. Earlier. Wow. Wow. I think when that actually came out. 
three movies in my personal theater. Yeah, like, I've got, like, a big screen, but it's still not the same as, like, being in a theater watching something and having, like, a crowd. We do make a night of it, though, if I get, like, a movie to screen, you know, to review. I, like, you know, to talk to the family, you know, set a night, order pizza in or something, and, you know, kind of make a thing of it. We did that, uh, well, we didn't do it with Luca, but we just watched Luca screen it not too long ago, and that was a lot of fun. Sort of I would love, in. like, a personal theater set, though, or something. Yeah, like, I'm not theater set up, but it's, it's still a nice experience. You know, you turn off the lights just to kind of emulate it. But oh, always, yeah. Still not as cool as going to a theater. At least for me. Let's see what we're dealing with. Creature for... What year this was. 1954. 1954, ooh. Oh. I thought it was the 40s. Yeah, oh, pretty close. <laughs> the decade or so. It is funny, there are a couple of those really old movies that I like. I don't know. <laughs> I still say Ace in the Hole is one of the greatest, most relevant today films than uh, that's ever been out there. It's about like sensationalism in the media. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fascinating. So it was a lost film until like five or so years ago. They found like a bit of it. Now they've made it, you know, they mastered it to so watch it. And it's like the idea that this guy, there's like a small mining accident where these miners get like stuck you know, in this mine shaft. And it's not a big deal, they're gonna get them out. But then this guy that's like trying to look for a newspaper gig, like, you know, he's trying to make his name big again so that he can get back to the top, starts being like, oh no, this is a huge thing, and they like, he kind of continues to overblow it, if that makes sense. Like, sensationalize the okay, yeah. It just snowballs, and it hype. becomes like a, basically a circus where like the people are driving in to go and see this, like, event thing that's going on. That's it's just, like, a really, really great movie. Yeah. As I know, we're completely off topic here. No, I saw... That was in school. Oh, are you not in here yet? Ah, uh, just loading it. That's weird. You should have said something. Realize you're just chilling. But I mean, not like I can uh, Yeah, I'm just chatting away, yeah. Your stream hype died down because of all the loading. <laughs> <laughs> not enough it. shooting people. That's exactly what it is. A revival for you, my friend. Yeah, I restart this actually. Way too long loading. Let's go on. I'm gonna miss the whole war. <laughs> luckiest soldier, unluckiest gamer. No. Yeah. Your character's probably like, yeah, I get to live to fight another day. <laughs> I mean, we are getting. Well, actually, no. We're we're kind of like on the last objective here. We're just blowing. I mean, cool unlocks. Half our forces have been lost. Well, at least we're just taking the final position. Hell's yeah, it's a big deal. I'd like to get in for that match. And Solomon Islands probably one of my favorite Pacific maps. Ah. Uh. I like Iwo Jima. It's just that one's so hard to take as the Americans on breakthrough. Mm hmm Caves and stuff. Yeah, the caves. That's always where it ends up. You gotta like drive the Shermans right through the caves to try to take it, but not everyone knows that. Yeah. I've seen that before. Wow, my captain guy's down behind their spawn. Hmm. <gasps> Abachi, where are you? I'm dead. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, 
Alright, that is open. Come on now. You've rejoined the squad. Love That's that. me. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's me. Where are you, phone? Oh, you're over there. See how the YouTube's doing. <laughs> I think we should add a bit of a... Yeah, we got a bit of a spike. Had a, did a cyberpunk patch notes video today. It did very well. Nice. Very surprised by that. Cyberpunk's still going strong? I remember there was all that hype, and then people were like, Oh, it sucks. And I haven't heard much about it. I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like there's a decent amount of people that are like... I don't know about it, but people that really hate it love to come out and just <laughs> hate it. I it's really like that it. for games now. Yeah. Like I was like the one stream I was playing, somebody was like, oh yeah, I played it sixty hours of it and then I asked for a refund. I was like, Really? Yeah, it was a bad game. How, how do you play like sixty hours or something? Finish it multiple times and be like, no, nah, that's not for me. Like, right? Just... Yeah. Feels wrong, right? There was one guy I was uh, watching talk about the new COD. Well, it was like in like a chat forum thing, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I I put like 500 hours into the new COD, and I didn't like it." And the one guy commented, "Well, if you put 500 hours into it, you know, you must not have hated it that bad, you know." Yeah, like I've had people where they're like, they play like 2,000 hours and they play, like bad game. It's like, how like how do you? I play games <laughs> that I don't even like, yeah. and I you know I, I I just leave them. I just stop playing them. Like. I just don't know how you yeah. can keep playing something if you actively like dislike something. Like you can kind of tell that the guy's just kind of like right in the oh cyberpunk bad kind of store, but the fact that he played it like you know, 60 hours and played it twice, like give me a break. Like seriously, you know, like you don't. Like, I just don't see how you would go back for seconds if you like something and then get a refund. It, it's just because he wanted to get a refund, so he took advantage of that. Yeah, he just wanted extra money. I don't think I'll be able to join this one. Unless you're not chat. It'll be over soon, yeah. Okay. Match came out. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's coming back to, uh, to PlayStation soon, the uh, Cyberpunk. Maybe I'll pick it up to do a video on it. That might make it really popular on there. I got it on Stadia. I got it on Xbox. Maybe doing a PS5 video. Kind of a hot thing. Especially if they discounted a bit to get more people on it. Yeah. Let's see. But seriously, it's just like... I don't know, it just kind of bothers me if people act like that. Like, it feels dishonest, you know? Yeah. <laughs> nope, match is over now. Victory. What a force victory. Hopefully you can, like, connect soon. It's weird. Yeah, I'd like to. Got that whole last match out. <laughs> you missed like a whole game. Yeah. That squad that should have been us. But Kevin left us for dead. <laughs> he I think it went order a uh, top squad. Maybe you can hop in now, I guess. Hobbies or whatever. Run into Panzer Storm next, if I remember rotation right. If you know the rotation of this game, you play it too much. Yeah, I'm straight. Somebody plays a little bit too much Battlefield 5. I learned the rotation of it because there's certain maps I like to play way more than others. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know it's nuts. Did you ever play Verdun or uh, Tannenberg? Yes, love Verdun. Yeah, they optimized those games recently. That was that was really fun. I, like I even got a uh, Riley to play it with me the one time. Yeah, uh, they run it. Uh... 1800p, uh, 120 FPS. It's crazy. Checks already for I-42. That's good. Build up the hype. I don't know. I'm kind of excited for the fall in general. You know, I got three great shooters to be doing like videos and streams on. It's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, bouncing between Halo and Battlefield, all that. I'm hoping to really get some like crazy metrics going on in the fall. No, hoping so, right? Yeah. Hmm, but the match is starting. 
it's uh, probably a pretty good time to uh, like it if you haven't, guys, so we can hopefully get some more people <laughs> checking it up. <laughs> and, you know, questions and that, those, those are usually pretty exciting. Uh, donations are fun, and subscribing is awesome, too, ever. <laughs> so you've heard. So I've it's heard. It's a yeah. mystery still. Yeah. It's, it's a mystery. Subscribe, let us know. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> was it exhilarating as the people said? Exactly. Or subscribe and forget about it. Don't watch anything. It's cool. It's got to get the yes. numbers. <laughs> I hit that 100k tier and then I get the plaque, man. It's going to be sick. My favorite was when you were calling it and then when you got shot. <laughs> or we got shot in PUBG. That was funny. Uh, oh boy, I get to play. Here we go. We're playing the music. I was like legitimately disappointed that when I searched for it, there was not a video on 2042 where they replaced the music in that with the classic battle. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I was like, why the way they don't add it? it. Uh. Like, I feel like so much from the community should have stepped up. They're called Diddy. Uh, this guy's always trolling. Those are good so trolls or viewers too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get into the match? Yes. Oh wow, you're actually here. I live and breathe. <laughs> They're coming down the field. Ah, uh, I got smoke. Should have left the safety of my little like, hidey hole. I've died. Pull up to this other guy that we don't know. What a shock. Hmm. So how would you rate our defense? Um B plus could use improvement not. <laughs> That's fair. It's definitely fair. You know what I'd rate my lumbar support? Ooh, what? Ten out of ten. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like a seven-hour ratchet flank stream. And it was just like killing me. And then the next day, I did like five hours of chivalry. It's just like it's a constant stream, and eh? Both very hyped up and successful streams. Actually, the Ratchet and Clank one of my. No, 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 Ratchet. Like, I think the Doom one actually did better than. Oh, I was so shocked about the Doom stream performance. That's neat. I don't know, yeah. Just absolutely just surprised to the highest degree. I was like, really? Oh. I knew Doom had some fans, but to think that was one of your best ones, pretty cool. Yeah, it was like Doom 2016 too. Was it like Doom Eternal or anything? Off and off. Good game though, the multiplayer is a lot of fun. You got any points to build the rest of this fortification? Okay, I think I just revived my teammate through somebody that's on the other team. Nice. No, it's not nice, I mean, shot, I think. <laughs> Is there something bad here? I, I, I can't tell. I, oh, it killed somebody. Killed them. Whoever they were. They're dead now. They've got tanks shooting here. Whoa! Whoa, guy high. Guy high. Well, that would be obvious. You can tell that I'm a little tired and just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
feel like these guys are in attacking me. Effectively. They just can't get through our awesome defense. That just unrealistic. That just nice. that earlier. It's their passive sniper tanks. Nothing kills an attack in this game quicker than sniper tanks. True. Well, there goes the wall I was using as a block. The head. Do I think Insurgency Sandstorm is still coming to Xbox? I would expect it to be. I don't think they cancelled it. You know they're actually, those developers are like in Calgary. I think I mentioned this maybe to you but... Yeah, I think I remember you mentioning that once. It's like one of their satellite studios or something like that? Yeah, they've got the satellite studios right here. I think their main studios in like Denver and they're like, well Calgary's like basically the same. I've always heard that description, that it's a Canadian Denver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I wanted to do, like, a studio tour, but, like, COVID kind of hit and stuff, so. That'd be neat, the, the gamer. Maybe I should actually email them, see if I get a hand or something, or box build. You know, we, we don't get really opportunities like that here for that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, be neat. Same with, you, you know, The Last of Us is shooting here. I guess Pedro Pascal was over at Sunridge Best Buy. Ooh. I mean, it's kind of, like, wild, isn't it? Yeah, no, that is. You don't usually get that here that often. It's kind of nuts. But I mean, you, you sometimes run into the people at yeah, bars. Like yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be nuts just to be partying downtown? Like, Pedro Pascal is just, like, just at the bar. <laughs> Say this is the way. No. This is the way. <laughs> Can I get a this is the way? <laughs> uh, this is like I ma imagine like Henry Cavill is probably just like, we'll just toss a coin at him. Yeah. A coin for the you. Witcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to pay for his own drinks that often. No. Yeah, he's like, God, I'm, I'm short a few cents. Watch this, my friend. He walks out to the street. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back with a sack of coins. Yeah. They toss the coin to their witcher. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of just, it's really fascinating. Like, what is he doing all the way over here? You know, right? Because I'm sure they're filming, like, outside the city. I don't think they're filming in. Or they might be. Because I think part of, like, Ghostbusters is the new one that's coming out. Yeah. Ghostbusters Afterlife. I think they filmed it like color and like. But... Did you ever see? I can't remember what it was. That like Black Summer zombie movie or something that's, like that. That's a Netflix original series that's filmed here. That yeah, yeah. It, um, there's like a movie for it or something like that, and it's like completely filmed here. They're literally running through the Saddle Dome at one point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you can, like, see the flames thing in the background. Well, it's Pretty funny because they take that ramp. Yeah, well, they take the ramp going into the saddle dome, and when they get through the door, they end up at McMahon. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, ah ha ha. Well, you know that, but other people, when they watch it, they don't know that. Yeah, right? well, they'd have no clue, right? Yeah. I just thought that was fascinating. I was like, I didn't even know they filmed that sort of thing here. See, and you're like, well, damn. Uh. I love for the few people that have like heard of Alberta and all that, they'll be like, Are you from Edmonton? It's like nah. Uh, we're in the better city. Yeah. <laughs> be real here. The better city no one's heard of uh, yeah. Nobody's heard. Lots of people know about the city. We're pretty big. Uh, we're bigger in landmass. Or not landmass, but people and stuff. We're the, yeah, I heard that. We're the third biggest city in Canada. Well, that's it. I searched it out. We got more people than Houston, something like that. It's good for like 1.6 or something. Yeah. Wow. Which is kind of hilariously small compared to like the US and that. But it... Yeah. <laughs> and like Just... New York's like 18 million, something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, Toronto's like pretty. Yeah. I was just surprised we passed uh, Montreal there. Then again, I think our like population's probably decreasing in that due to cost of living and everything. It sucks now. 
want to be able to buy a house. But it's impossible. <gasps> bum, 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 bum. This team is just like, they are not pushing at all, I feel like. Or they're doing a horrible job of it. I got some over there. Like the one house that hasn't fallen yet. Uh, what a wall or something. I don't see anyone, so I start pushing way forward and I get sniped. Yeah. Almost like they're not putting in any sort of. <laughs> Maybe we should just let them take it. What the hell did I spawn? Build? Oh, I'm coming in on the house, I think. Kamachi's driving me, and I'm like on the back end of this big cannon thing. This looks really cool. Going by the trees now. And I got shot. <laughs> so they're just hiding on the hill and big tanks not doing anything. They're <laughs> just trying to rack as many kills as they can. I guess. It just seems like lame. Like, it's only three objectives they gotta take on this map. They just blow through it. No, I don't really have anything that like deal with those things. I don't have really, like tank stuff or anything. Got the bazooka yet? Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Damn right, that didn't work. I just like dropped and died. Nice. I don't know, like I don't. Like in other games, I feel like I have to do that, whereas in this one, I just kind of assume other people will like. But. I actually lost that? After that long? <laughs> Wow, I assumed we were just holding it. I don't think they'll get to this next one. Better not for your sake. No, Lord Vader, no. no. <laughs> go, go, go. How do I give, like, squad thingies? Uh, hold right bumper. I did it. Yeah. Actually, through a grenade. A bomb wrap. It's all good. Totally fine. Dun 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 dun. It's intense. Come on, guys. Let's get enough points so I can send out an airstrike and it. <laughs> 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 Explosions. I am spotted. Who's spotting me? Oh, it looks like they're coming down from the hills. That is a really poor render distance on that grass, because you literally just see like empty open dirt grass and some under again. Kinda sad. It's a little sad. You almost got enough for an airstrike though. So keep on doing whatever it is. I mean I'm there's standing. Some AA trying to blow up the hill. Maybe there's like I can build this? Else to build. Here, I need help crowdfunding this, this fortification here. We've got to build this wall. Americans. <laughs> ah, reverse card. Yeah. Building, building. This is next gen battlefield right here. It's actually kind of a creative system, the Ford of Game. Yeah, I wonder if they'll carry that one over. If yeah. that's just like done. I mean, it's not much, but it's just like something. It's nice when you don't have any cover left. Yeah. 
Like, I really like in uh, Fallout 4, I love the settlements. It still looks like that. The building in that, yeah. Yeah, I am. Love doing it. Very excited for what, like, Starfield's gonna be. Starfield. <laughs> what, it's gonna be, like, Fallout in space? Or the elves in space? Nuts. Although I do stand by the fact that I think the Outer Worlds is basically, like, you know, Fallout in space. Did you see the trailer for the second one? No, I haven't. Does it look pretty cool? It's hilarious. Okay, so it's, like, basically big open area and we have to make this sound it's like blah and then a creature will appear but you won't ever see this creature in the and the only <laughs> thing we have done is the title <laughs> it's actually worth watching it's like a kind of a bit of a comical trailer right it's just making fun of other trailers interesting it's very very funny Oh damn. They're just bombing us. This is like boring, they're not attacking or anything. Just like chilling out. They had enough to murder them though. Oh my. Oh, how's the weather? <laughs> oh, it's all right. Keep throwing shells at us. I'm not sure if that's in the forecast. Yep. Good chance of shelling. Clear skies. Storm on the horizon. And a good <laughs> chance of shells. Oh, I think I've got enough. Oh, we're, we're very close, though. Very close. I need like 500 more points and I can like, airstrike that little, little hill there. I don't know how we get these points though. Just killing, just chilling. Whoa, I got smoked by Sherman. Sucks to suck. I need to revive. We're really close to artillery. Oh man. You guys all died? These tanks picking us off. One guy's like 44 0 on their team. Oh, I'm gonna. Artillery strike the hell out of those tanks. Where are they? Oh, yeah, I finally come across one guy as soon as I'm about to put like an airstrike <laughs> down. You haven't seen anyone in like however long. Watch this guy. Yeah. Anyways, where are those damn at? Nowhere near where I was before. Where are the. I'm at A? I didn't even realize there's a whole side over here. I've just been at B the whole time. At their tank? So goddamn low res. I feel like that's maybe not their tank. Do you do you see where their tanks are? So like, can you like spot them? Oh, there's a tank. I'm gonna do that tank. Yeah, I wouldn't try hard enough on me. We lost B. On are slacking. Vehicle hit. I mean, it should be destroyed considering, yeah, there we go. Uh, Vehicle should be boom, 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 considering I put an artillery strike on it. <laughs> but time is in Canada. Canada is a huge place, man. There's all these different times and stuff here. It's, it's like four in the morning right now. But like, there's, you know, it's gonna be different times everywhere else in the place. It's, it's so wildly different. Got like four or five times. Yeah, actually, it'd be like six. I think seven o'clock, like at the far east. Two hours plus is. Okay, yeah, so like six, yeah. 
Central, one hour plus, and then there's Pacific, one hour minus. Mountain. We seriously lost that sector? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How? Right? Like, they did nothing the whole time, and then they just came in, and all of a sudden they're like... Ow. Our team sucks. <laughs> like, just garbage. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Now we're like literally in the fields. You could basically just call this a map that was like, you could just call it Alberta and this would be... <laughs> like, right? Like, this looks like a yeah. place that would be here. Yeah. Silos and all that? Holy. Maybe not There's the one map. stone, like, walls or... Yeah. Alberta with like a European feel to it. I, I don't know how it's a European feel adding like a stone fence, but basically. I don't know. I just like, like you know, I just picture like the old brick walls or something. Mm -hmm. Where are they coming from? I don't know if you see me out here, but I'm like right in the open of the field. I don't, I don't see me. Um, can't really spot you right now. Like three in Vancouver, yeah, it'd be Pacific time in Vancouver, so fine. This is our like uber late stream. We should just do some battlefield tonight. Let's plop on battlefields from now on with Kevin Hobson. Battlefield. Battlefields and battlefronts. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, you try to do something different. <gasps> Actually, have we done anything else? Poor PUBG. Poor PUBG. No, oh, yeah, mostly, yeah. Mostly just the battlefields, yeah. But did we do something else? It's good times, though. We did something. Ah, uh, I think just the battlefields in uh, Battlefront. I know I wasn't talking the one time, but we did play Halo together. Oh, yeah. Halo. I do Halo streams, I got one planned for next week with the new season. Nice. Oh god damn. I wish I could do it more often, but I try to mix things up. GG. It's always GG. Yeah, I try to do variety on the streams, I just don't want to do the same thing every night. But I'm assuming I'm going to be doing yeah. some repetitive stuff once uh, you know, we get into the fall season. All of the new games and that, right? Yeah. Me like a whole week of maybe not. I, uh, I do have chivalry added to it. Love that one. And there's quite a few games to play, but there's not like unlimited multiplayer. But I'm trying to do some like single player stuff too. Yeah. No. Dang. This is lame. They're not like pushing. They're not doing anything. They're just sitting back doing Sherman stuff. <laughs> no? Oh, I can't. I don't get how they're winning. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that either. I'm seeing like birds in my room. Somehow I'm getting picked on? Oh, they have A? Oh god. I'm like looking one way, but they're attacking another way. I need to take A back. Infantry combat, I haven't felt this in a long time. <laughs> God. Weird on The last objectives are falling. Hey man, you gotta get your ass on B right now if you're not over there. Question mark? I don't know what Hibachi is doing, he's like hiding in a tower over by A. Kind of funny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow, I'm like hitting the vehicle here. Ankle over there with the howitzer. Oh, and I, I got the one squad mate here repairing me. He's just doing a brilliant job. Oh, that's good. Oh, I should just rock at the tower. I'll. What? Are you sure I want to the tank on me? Bro. I don't think I know it's there. He's. You know what is holding steady? What? <laughs> Support for my lumbar. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 Should do a chair review. I should. Yes. Let's go chair review. I review all kinds of stuff. I, I want to do like a fridge review. That would be a lot of fun, but I don't know how they would yeah, do that. That would be interesting. I want to know which fridge would keep my drinks cold, but not too cold. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see they're doing the Xbox Series X mini fridge? No, that's a, that's interesting. So yeah, there was this competition on Twitter for like the most votes, and they went up against Skittles. And then someone was like, "Hey, if, you know, if you win or vote for this, you guys should make like any fridge and build something." And they're like, "Okay, fine. If you guys win the vote, and we'll do the mini fridge." And then they did a trailer for it at the end of the Xbox E3 event, so, like actually happening. That's neat. Yeah, the Xbox Series Xbox like, will slowly become a furniture company. But... I mean, they're probably gonna. Do of marketing. Well, it's probably going to sell a lot. It'd be harder to get from the console. I hope it's in Canada. I want to get it so I can review it while wearing my Series X one. There he is. Like, you know, the idea, I kind of want to email, like, LG and just be like, do I review a fridge? Also, we'll say. <laughs> like, right? You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. Really, like, somebody's got to be able to do it somehow, right? Do they send you to a showroom? Like, how does it work? I want to take on that challenge. Being a fridge. The next gen. This game is like a movie. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's very cinematic. Although, like, more like a documentary with how slow this map. Because this attack will kill you. I was a little bad. Let's see. Only four of them we need to kill, and we got this. Hope the next match is a little bit more exciting. Very nice. Probably do like what? One more? Sure, I'm done. Level 50, Jax? How are you grinding that thing so well? It must be the hardcore <laughs> mode. He's, like, he's doing hardcore, and I guess it's just like grinds out his battle pass like crazy. Seriously impressive. Level 50? Wasn't he just level 40 like, like yeah. an hour or two ago? Holy. Yeah, he says he just like does hardcore and it just like burns through it. Is it possible to learn this power? <laughs> yeah, he just told you. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hardcore mode, man. Probably because people don't play it, they like just spread out their play Pacific War after this game. I mean, it's just kind of like whatever pops up in rotation, man. I don't have to sit here and like load in and load in something else. Twisted Steel. Steel. No daily orders. What's that? I need to take the day off, man. No, it's yes. Just have one map in this game. It's just leave in like London, walk around and buy stuff from the gift shop. No. <laughs> <laughs> the gift shop of battle. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of hoping game companies do more merch stuff in the view. Kind of fun buying like toys and stuff for games, like figures and that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I need. That's great for my. You now for backdrop and stuff. About to get the new AR diamond. Oh, this guy's crazy. Jax is crazy. 
Anyways, guys, I think this is our final adventure, so, like, you know, liking the stream probably is a great idea. Questions and stuff <laughs> give us something to talk about, usually. Otherwise, we're just sitting here going, wow, you have nothing to do with this, man. Today's just <laughs> cool and subscribing's <laughs> awesome as well. <laughs> Capture the objective. Capture objective buttons. AK. Half of one's out of the rotation. <laughs> no, <sh> <laughs> uh. You should do like a in memory of. Like put like PUBG and that in there. No, sh <laughs> I have more skins. Okay, wow, Jax. I probably won't even get close to that amount of. A progression in the battle pass. This is for what? Cold War? Yeah. Well, Call of Duty yeah. in general, right? Oh, okay. Warzone is like a snail, like, piece of, like, working through that stuff. Snail bait. I haven't played Warzone in forever. It's still pretty fun. It's They've like changed it the now. Yeah, well, I, last time I played, they had the zombies added. And I thought that, that was, was pretty cool. a long time. That was. <laughs> it's uh, they redid it, it like that one. Uh, 80s style. Oh really? Like the whole map to reflect Cold War, and then they added Alcatraz. They ported it over all lazily, so that one's a. Okay. And they do like mini royale and rebirth mini royale, so it's like you know, spawning. It's actually it's very different. Interesting. I say I, I rarely play traditional over dance, like. Right, their matches is all the mini stuff for birth because action. But there's like respawns in the mini? So if you do rebirth, it's like you just keep respawning as long as your teammates are alive. Interesting. Until the end, and then it's like you can't respawn in this way anymore. Gotta get that full wipe to win. Yeah. And then mini royale is just like a lot smaller. Of this. I think that one has rebirth too, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. Very different. Yeah, that sounds a lot different. I remember when they first added Cold War and they like threw in all the guns. And I liked because the M16 was so powerful, I just used it all the time. It's kind of like, I think to me it kind of ruined things because they just like started shoving in the Black Ops Cold War stuff. And I, I didn't, not huge on Cold War, right? Like, I'm yeah. Big fan of it. That's the game now, you gotta deal with it. And then I remember, like, I was talking to my rep and stuff about, like, so the last season they did, seasons used to be, like, a long time, right? Like, were, last season was, yeah. like, barely two months, I think. And my rep was like, yeah, a lot of people were like, they wish it wasn't done so fast. That's weird with games like that, like Siege or whatever. You, maybe it's just how often I play it or not, but there was, I think it was like two seasons ago or something like that, before they added Flores. Um, mm. It was. It took forever. It seemed like it was half a year. Bless you. <laughs> you actually caught some of that? I, I muted my mic a bit, I thought. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I caught a little bit. Of it. A little bit of it? Oh. Live! Sky Captain sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> so loud, but, um... But yeah, I don't know, that season seemed like forever, and then this last season, before this new one, it, it was like, done in like, a couple weeks, it felt. That's weird. Maybe they do more over the summer or something? That's so odd. So it's just like, it whipped by, and I don't even know if you noticed, but they added like, Rambo and stuff. Uh, the last season, by Rambo. Oh, John McClane. That's designer. for the, yeah, just that 80s feel. Yeah. I'm hoping they do some new ones, because they were saying it would be like perfect for them to add like Arnold or uh, Ripley or something, the other good 80s characters. What are you doing? Kill me! Do it! Do it now! Well, they're just the ones you see licensed like constantly in the game. Yeah. Hibachi got promoted to squad leader in the last match. Ooh. My favorite zombies map? Oh, Gino Numa. What's your favorite zombies map, Kevin? Uh, damn, I don't know the names. Uh, the original World at War, the one that started it all. Doctor Antoza? Yeah, there you go. I 
can get back to what you were asking. Man. Oh, I don't know. I think I was just going on about you losing uh, a squad lead there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the squad leader again. <laughs> yeah. That was a little special. A topic for you guys. For people who dislike Game Pass or digital games because they like owning their games. I mean, that's up to them, right? You, you get that choice, so not much to say about that. <laughs> Well, it kind of reminds me of what happened with uh, Kingdom Come, but that was kind of funny. Ever tell you about that? No, it happened there. Well, yeah, you recommended it to me. Absolutely loved that game, played it a lot, and it was on Game Pass, so I just went and bought the DLCs for it, and then, like, go figure, that week they took it off Game Pass, and I was like, no! Yeah, so I had to, like, wait till I got this job, and I went and bought it again. <laughs> yeah. That's why yeah, I think that's the so only. Much. Yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't able to there, and I had all the DLCs. So, like, I love Game Pass. It's so worth it. I think that's, like, the only downside is if they take a game off and, like... It's like Netflix, right? I, yeah. You know, if you, you buy it before it leaves, you get off, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Or it's you could be broke like me at the moment. No, just... <laughs> no, no, I, I get you. It yeah. breeds a great level. I, I do like that one a lot, but Chino Numa for me, just like the atmosphere in that, just can't be. So spooky. And it's hard to play on Chino Numa too because it's now Pack a bunch, right? Which one was that? Black Ops? That yeah, Black Ops one. Well, actually, it was from World at War. It was like the third DLC. I didn't know that for the longest time that there was more uh, zombies, zombies on uh, World at War, like more zombie maps, I should say. Oh, there was there was four. There I was. I thought it was just the original. Yeah. Nocturne, Toten, Verux, the Reeds. I heard that was just supposed to be like a cheesy side game mode they made. And it was like, just a they joke. Didn't expect it to take off. Yeah. Now it's like a prime part of their like package. Or, well, you right. know, you wouldn't think so after seeing Cold War and how they treated it, but... <laughs> you know, not that was half-assed. That whole game is like... I, I call it Call of Duty Recycled Warfare. It's so, like... <laughs> recycled Warfare, that's what... I also that's like, what Modern uh, Warfare was, Recycled Storyline, just about. <laughs> well, technically, Modern Warfare is a prequel. Yeah, like a... a, a reboot not a reboot prequel yeah it, it could go either way i think that's in case it didn't take off they could just be like well you know never happened or whatever right yeah it's funny we were also making fun of uh what was it you know talking with other with kev there i think that's the best way to solve the name it's kevin or kevin i think that works okay. but like um like playing about the nintendo event or something well, they're giving you a Mario Party recy or recycled Mario Party. Because, you know, the last Mario Party didn't go over well. So what they're doing is like an All-Stars version of it, where it's like, you know, the best maps and stuff from the other... From all the Mario Parties okay. they've done over the years. So I'm like, <laughs> the recycled Mario Party. That's what the Call of Duty one feels like. Old War is just like, recycled maps, recycled content. And it's a late together. It's half assed Shinonuma is in Black Ops. I believe it is in the Chronicles. But aim from World of War and it was in Black Ops. Great map. Wow. Oh, damn it. This ain't Game Pass is bad for developers. I've heard nothing but like praise from developers about Game Pass. They get like whatever they want deal wise, and it's pretty good for everyone. I mean, I haven't seen anyone actually complain about Game Pass. Except for those on like PlayStation or people where it's like it's devaluing games. Give me a break, games are kind of a little overpriced anyway. <laughs> right. Well, I always kind of like that idea though of how many hours do you squeeze in with your game? You know, like for like things you'll maybe pay like 20, 30 bucks for and then like enjoy it for like three, four hours. But like a video game, sure you pay 80 bucks, but you can spend like thousand plus hours on it if you wish. Well, my big thing is, I think games should cost less. Get more players buying them. Beware, we have lost objective, well, that so is true. Now. I think that's kind of where, like, Fortnite took off so well, was because it was free. Like, every man, woman, and child mm -hmm. could get it, you know, like... You gotta, you know, people spend more once they get access. 
my Call of Duty Warzone stick. So my Fortnite did. I'm just saying. That's it's how like, War Thunder got so much money off me. No, it's right. <laughs> but you know, you, you look at these games. It's like they want like 90 bucks a can. It's just like so unreasonable. I think. Like I know you get a lot of time out of it, but it's just like, wouldn't you rather have more people paying it and playing your game for potential DLC purchases than like less people? No, oh, that's a good point. That's where I'm wondering with like uh, the new Battlefield 2042, if they're gonna not have it on Game Pass, see how well it sells, and then depending on how like the player base goes, they'll just slap it up on Game Pass. Well, it'll be on Game Pass in six months, no matter what. No matter what. Oh, okay. All EA game end up on Game Pass through EA Play after six months. That's just how it works. But like, I think <laughs> they're kind of making a bit of like I think Game Pass would have been a really good thing for Battlefield. I think it would have really popped those numbers up. Yeah, Mob of the Dead's pretty good. It's a pretty solid map. They got some really good maps. It's just like so many zombie map. You know, nobody ever says the recent ones are great though, which is funny. Like Black Ops, like some of the Black Ops Two maps were either like High Rise or whatever that one was. That was so special. I wasn't too big on the World War Two one. Oh. Uh, Origin. I didn't like that one. Yeah. At least they gave you room to move around. That was the one bonus. You could actually, like, get away from zombies. Because a lot of the zombie maps in that game were, like, really narrow. They didn't yeah. Didn't move. But I didn't really love Origins. You look at, like, Black Ops 1 zombies, and, like, every single one of those maps was an absolute banger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, even, you know, you look at, like, Shangri La is, like, my least favorite. And even that was really good. Or like yeah. Call of the Dead. The only reason I don't like that one as much is because of the arrow on it. But it's still like an incredible level. <laughs> even the moon, you know, hardcore as hell, but still fun level. It's really weird and different. And then they just like kind of lost that a little bit. I feel like that point though. It is a lot funner when you can kind of get away. Or whatever. For me, the biggest. You just said. Issue was like the lack of actually these maps being like survival focused. Yeah, really objective base. Yeah, now you're trying to do, do something. Stuff. Yeah. Like the original one from World at War, you just said the name of it. Doctor on like that. Yeah, probably. It's gonna take me like eight times here and then. <laughs> but it's yeah. like. Um. Yeah. But you're doomed. No matter what you did, you're doomed. Mm -hmm. You know, you could keep playing, but that was the fun. Was trying to come up with like a strategy for how you tackle this map. Yeah, Easter eggs were always like an extra fun thing you, if you wanted. Yeah. Now it's like you have to, otherwise you don't get these perks, you don't get these weapons. You five, you have to do. Them. That's where it really lost the magic. Wasn't it the first Black Ops that added like the Hellhounds or whatever they were? No, those were, uh, those were in Shinonuma was their first appearance. Okay. Yeah. Those things always creep me out. Shadows of Evil. I don't even remember that map. It's probably Black Ops 3, right? I don't know, just, you never hear people talking about, like, zombies past, like, part of the Black Ops 2 maps. At least I never gotta give it a couple years for the younger people younger who one. only played that one to get nostalgia. Uh, that was just... I don't know, I'm hoping they do what that one rumor says where they're finally gonna do like a standalone zombie game. That would be nice. That I know there's less value for Like full Call of Duty title? Yeah, like just a complete spin-off where it's like, you know, just zombies by itself. I think people would play it. I'm looking forward to that. The makers of Left 4 Dead, like they got that new zombie game coming out. Back for Blood. Day one on Game Yeah. Pass. I think you took my class. We totally did. We swapped. Yeah. Have fun with that MP40. I'll try to. It's usually pretty good. No, I'm dead. But uh, yeah, Back <laughs> for Blood. I'm I'm kind of excited for that one. Like I said, Day One Game Pass, pretty big deal. Tied for being most forgettable. I like World War II. I thought that one was really good. The streams for it do very well. Very, very well. I like World War II. Even the zombies, they were a little bit... Really gritty zombies. 
Yeah, but I'd say Black Ops 3 and 4 are probably really forgettable Call of Duty titles. Same with Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare. I know people love Advanced Warfare. Still pretty fun. Really? Advanced Wander. Warfare? I've always heard people... Who in it? <laughs> I don't know, I hear people recently that... That's neat. Like, well, I thought that one was pretty decent. I think overall, long term, it's probably gonna be pretty forgettable. Those ones. I'm just assuming, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I always thought it was neat that like, it's not like everyone has to like the same COD or Battlefield or something like that. You know, like you don't have case. There's so yeah. many of them. Everyone's got like preference. Right. Uh, yeah. Like I don't know. I wasn't too big on Advanced or Infinite myself. Hmm. But I loved, like, the old Modern Warfare 2, but obviously we grew up on that. But, like, that whole storyline was so cool. Especially nope. when, like, the Russians were invading the first... I can't remember who you were, but I think you were the Rangers in the second one. But when you're walking back through the forth. town and they're, like, paratrooping... That level is awesome. Yeah, I that's that so a showcase cool. for that. Yeah. Fighting in the McBurger Town or something like that. I think that's Family Guy, but you know. <laughs> it's, I think it's in Burger Town. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're at Black Ops Camp. Yeah, though they were good campaigns. I'd love to see some like there's a like World at War story or a Black Ops story. I think that would be nice. I always wondered if they could remaster World at War. That was a really gritty. Super like great. probably the grittiest one, yeah. You literally start getting beaten up by that one guy in the Pacific, you know. Seriously, like one of the most intense the openings I've ever seen in the game. It's yeah. Brutal. I don't know, it'd be cool if they just remastered the game at least and play it. Yeah. Ghost doesn't deserve all the hate it gets. I, I liked Ghost when it came out, but I think long term kinda of looking at it, the multiplayer is a little Our Ghost stream was very popular actually. Way more popular than PUBG. Half <laughs> <laughs> more PUBG. Uh, yeah. Now the ghost stream I did was actually like popular. It was a couple months back. You know, I was just kind of like mixing in different CODs. So. Yeah. That one. Yeah, I've never played play Ghost. Wait, what? I've never played Ghost. It's like the story is actually. Extinction mode's kind of weird. I had a friend that was really good. Was just... The extinction's like, it's basically zombies, but they're aliens. But they're not aliens, they're something like the convoluted or a thing that I don't think it's wrapped up. Hmm. <laughs> they got like ghosts. little blasters for you or something? They're what? They got like little blasters they fire at you instead of like being no, zombies like, running at you? They're like dog creatures. And stuff. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're like mutated dog monster thing. You should stream World at War. You know, you can't do older cause and streams because there's not enough people to play them. So that's the problem. There, there's some you just can't do. You know, like I figured, you know, Advanced Warfare. I can't do that one. So you can find a match in it. You can't like stream. Black Ops One. Not enough people. We could do Black Ops Two, but it's so modded that we like the last time we did a stream for Black Ops Two was basically whoever wins has the best modder on their team. Uh, so that's not fun anymore. And I'm trying to protect my IP better, so I'm not doing that one again. <laughs> yeah, and um, obviously COD Three is off the table. So you could do Black Ops Two. You could. Black Ops 3, I think you could do. Black Ops 4, I'm not sure. I haven't checked that one. I do. <laughs> and, um. Do. You do Modern Warfare Remastered. I do that one quite often. That one's still popular. Infinite Warfare is like. You might get lucky. <laughs> uh, Black Ops 1. No. It's like it really. It's hit or miss. And also depending on the night, too, right? During the day, it's a little bit easier to find people, but still, it's like a rare occurrence. But World of War, way too, too uh, old. You can't, you just can't find players in it. Which is sad. I remember it was like, I don't know, I want to say like three, four years ago, I was finding matches for it. But 
we played the campaign earlier this year because we had one buddy that was uh well one of my friends uh had a friend that was a little younger and he never played it was like no way you gotta do the campaign like but it's like one of the best cod campaigns and then we tried to hop online and there was like nobody <laughs> yep you know I, I gotta give one thing like activision they get a lot of crap from people but you can still play all of those old call of duty games even though there's no one on it like the servers yeah. are still up like, that's incredible. Or like the poor original Reach servers are down and all that. That makes me sad. No, I think those are still up, but they're closing on December 31st this year. Oh, that's it. Okay. You can I thought that was rarely crazy. find Black Ops 1 servers. I just want to clarify that. Rarely. I'm sorry, Kevin. No, that's all good. I was just going to say that uh, when I went to go play Master Chief Collection, and I hopped on Reach, I wanted to throw on all my armor, and it was like, not nah, gotta restart. It was like, aww. <laughs> I think most of it should be there, though, that was, like, available, I thought. Oh, yeah, all the old armors, just I'd have to grind for it again. Uh... Really do. Yeah, we'll do Halo again. It's having folks, for those watching, we're gonna do a fun Halo. I hope that's popular. Yeah. <laughs> People should still love their Halo. Yeah, he looks great. The streams do pretty well. Like I said, I was on a roll for the streams. I was doing like, like, plus people watching. Great. Well, what she stream, I think, too, right? Yeah. Power just decides to go out. Oh, that's why Hibashi's gone. His power is gone. Angry emotes. Yeah. Boo! Don't take out my squad mates. Power. No. I'm gonna put an artillery strike on. On B, so yeah. Go ahead and take it. Really, no kills on there? That's good. Nice shooting it. What's my favorite FPS multiplayer experience on Series X? Probably Halo. <laughs> favorite game and all, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you could easily find matches in Black Ops 1. I don't know, man. Every time I go for that one, it's like very rare. I can find like a match during the day. Maybe. I also stream at night, right? So that's an extra problem for them. Just doing videos to show off like Black Ops and the older ones, it, it just it's so rare to find like full lobbies and most full lobbies. I thought it was pretty neat you found a hardline server. There's tons of hardline servers, so not tons, but you know, there's yeah. enough to stream it like a few times. That one gets me. We're done, it's free to play this weekend. Oh, that's perfect timing for that video. It should be somewhat popular than I hope <laughs> I put out today, but I don't think it did that well. Sad face. Hopefully, because it's free. Maybe taking a look at it. That was a neat game and concept that like the squad and each one has the the role. Like they're doing a heavy gunner. heavy gunner. They are really, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like a different scenario, basically. Not World War One anymore. Or? I think it's World War One, but it's a different front. Interesting. There was Western, Eastern. Might be a southern front. Jeez. <laughs> That'll be a weird sound on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I it's remember. called. I just remember with like Verdun when I hopped on, I saw that it was like Canadians. It was like, oh my god, that's all I'm ever gonna play. I love when that happens. Yeah, right? Canadian popping on stuff. See, Verdun. A third game is coming. It's called Izonzo. Alpine Warfare in Northeast Italy in World War One. Called it Southern Front. Yeah. 
is Enlisted good? Enlisted is kind of fun. It's, it's basically, I, I call it like a throwback Medal of Honor type game. Like, if you like Redundant stuff, it should feel very similar to that one. Enlisted. And it's free to play, so you know, you can give it a try and see if you like it or not. You did a stream of that, too. It's next gen. I wanted to play that one. Yeah, yeah, that's that was my issue. I went and downloaded it. I was like, no way, I want to play this so bad. And it was like, not for you, simple Xbox user. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a globally illuminated ray traced world. It's not like the yeah the Xbox One can handle that. There are so many people <laughs> like that's like most of the comments on that video that I did of it, like the review. Everybody's just like, it's not on Xbox One. They better put this on Xbox One. I was like, God, the entitlement of you guys. <laughs> Christ, like it's, it's just not gonna run on the console. It's too demanding. Like globally illuminated ray tracing, like. You, it's just like light the Xbox One on fire. Like seriously, I, I just I don't know why people are thinking their like eight-year-old console can run new games. You know, because like, even back then, eight years ago, that thing was like underpowered compared to like seeing the stuff at the time, right? Yeah. Halo. Well, no, one? I know I gotta get the new one. I mean, I don't want to rush here anyway. I oh heard no! I would like to get it allow 128 players. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> I didn't know this. But... I mean, I don't want you to be stuck with just 64. <laughs> right. Uh, I really want that. Well, I remember you said uh, you heard Hell Let Loose was coming to console. Yeah, it's coming. And like that, that was one of the reasons I wanted to get a PC. Was that looked like such a killer tactical shooter? Right, like, gonna, that's coming for the new console. Really read it, Metro Exodus. I hope you enjoy your Exodus when it comes, Jax. Halo? What are you asking about which Halo? Like, MCC is, is on top, but my favorite one is Halo 3. Not Reach? Question mark? Halo 3 is the best one. Boo. No. Halo Reach is great, but it's a battle rifle. Is it even a Halo thing? <laughs> what, Reach? Oh, oh, yeah, no, oh. <laughs> Battle rifle is Halo. <laughs> DMR is still pretty sweet, isn't that what it is? Yeah, it's the D. Uh, I hate yeah. DMR when it came out. It's just like so really, they're so used to the battle rifle. They shoot. I thought SWAT was so neat. Pop. Perfect for SWAT though. Definitely perfect for SWAT. I just remember there being big issues in Halo 4 with the balancing when that game first came out, where people were like, the DMR is more powerful than the battle rifle, this is garbage. <laughs> they had to rebalance it so that the battle rifle is more powerful. This is a battle I rifle. thought that was funny, because I thought the DMR was like the Reach prototype leading into the battle rifle. I never thought they yeah. were like two different weapons. Yeah. Well, one's for, you know, designated rifle, and one's for battle rifle. They're, they're very different. Dude, like, they right? serve yeah. different, like, no. functions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they have different... Yeah. yeah. Well, like, the assault rifle in Reach looks like... the. It's still the assault rifle, isn't that like the... the exact same. What yeah. The, yeah. The predecessor mm. to... Yeah. They should give them one Xbox One. Oh. <sighs> And let them play at 7 FPS. Yeah, they should. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's that's the end of our journey tonight. It's a lot of fun doing a doubleheader. Kevin, thank you for joining in. No problem. Always fun. Battlefront 2 is preferred over this one. Yeah. Uh, we'll catch you guys around on the flip. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to do that thing where I'm like, here are the other videos. Oh, I, I know them off the top of my head. We had a Cyberpunk patch notes video today. A video on Verdun optimized on Series X, World War One shooter, and Far Cry Primal FPS boosted on Series X. And tomorrow, or well in a few hours, is uh, Metal Gear Solid 2.